you children of gods, and heed my tale of time's beginning. All was dark. There was no sand. There was no sea. No earth, nor sky. No grass, nor wind. Till fire met ice in the gasping void. And from this green came the giant Ymir, first of all beings. Proud Ymir, cruelly killed. Yet from whose bones and blood and brains the world was made. The world you walk and war upon. See our king. Yes, good. Come, Mira. <clears throat> Did you find the, the ring? Yes. Now, now for our little plan. You see us talking. Be quiet as a wood mouse. And then surprise him with our gift. You hold it out, like this. You look him in the eyes and you say, Steer Bjorn King. May our clans be forever bonded in friendship and in love. I think you can do that for me. Mm -hmm. Cut. Tonight, you will be the court that unite our people. I'm so proud of you, Mabel. Get up, Olaf. Stay lucid, friend. My sword is grown greedy. I'm ready to fight. So nice having all of these hearty folk in our home. worth two sturdy longships. Give it here. I'll pass it on. My father asked me, Sigurd. Suit yourself. But you're not getting any mead. 
Valka Seder works through my hammer. <laughs> So, you have the ring? Good. This was worn by your grandfather in a battle on the Northern Way. Mother? Yes? Can we show Sigurd the can stones his dad yesterday? That's a good idea. We'll do that in the morning. First light. Abel, wait. Skull! Disturbia! The true king of Burgafolga! Tonight, we are all made anew! Skull! Ah. Ah, Abel, Abel. King. May our clans be forever bonded in friendship and love. Thank you, Eivor. Now and forever, I am pledged to you. <laughs> Hearken well in Hall of Kings. <sighs> On ocean steed, my words gain wings. Oh, then meet I forth will bring. Sing. Ah. Ah. The brave men slain, Valkyria wakes. Rewards for strain to our little takes. And horns resound the mighty horns. For those who fight! Not you, Eva. Not just yet. It is foretold. The curtains are raised. Nothing is true until it is severed from the branches of Yggdrasil. Oh, I will! Speak to Valhalla. Fire! 
Sigurd, take the horse. All right, wait here. Now it's my turn to offer you a deal, slave. Accept your fate, die a coward here before your people. And I will spare the rest. Fight, my love! Do not listen! If I give my life, will you spare my clan? You have my word. No. No, Baron. No, Aaron! Pick up your axe! <laughs> Too. I can let the Animus modulate your identity based on signal strength. It's up to you. it in and push ahead to a time where these streams are more synchronized. How long have you been chasing me, Wolf Kissed? Seventeen winters? Eighteen? Do I now haunt your dreams? Do I warm your loins? <laughs> you remember this? Ah, oh, your father's axe. The weapon of a coward. A scorn snake. Ah, few things would please me more than to kill with this blade. But I know you would defy me to the death, fighting for a glorious end. That I will not allow. You will live your final days enthralled as a slave. Humiliated. 
Your death would be a lonely one. <laughs> Kill the rest of his crew! Make them suffer! Evil Wolfkist is no more! That name is dead to this world! You will be worth your weight in silver. Uh, to the ship! Uh. You move, and I take your eyes, you hear me? Wind's blowing from the south. We can tack north, then cut west. Now, what did I just tell you? <laughs> in danger. I need to reach them. Better, stronger. Save that for later.
one of Kyotvi's men. I need to be careful. Best not to draw attention here. What do you see? What do you see, Sunan? Kyotva's warriors. I should stay out of sight. Once this land is under Kyotva's lash, we will live like Jarls. It will not happen while Ravenclan lives. They fight like the berserkers. Eivor Wolfkist killed a score or more single-handed. Ha! Eivor now tastes the slaver's whip. And with Prince... My eyes, Zunin. A clash of iron. There's fighting nearby. Thank you, old hound. You live. I do. Slipped away in the sword clash. And what of you? Kyotve tried to sell me off. A mistake he will regret. Not today he won't. I saw him board a ship at Aval's Nest not long ago. Sailed east, leaving our crew behind. There must still be time to save our men. I will find them. You ready the longship? 
you glory hound. You would take the rescue for yourself, so the victory song is written about you. I could storm the beach then, slay two dozen men, seize our dragon boat, and hoist the sail in triumph. Up to you. No, no, I will take the beach. A far more dangerous path. You search the longhouse for our crew. Oh, and here. This corpse will not have need of it. Go. I will meet you by the ship. Cutlass warriors crawl through Arval's nest like lice. They use the main gate and may attract attention. They will attack on sight here. The longhouse. The crew should be inside. The other side must be barred. an opening in the room.
squirm like that, and my axe will miss your neck. Unpleasant for both of us. Time to die. I want to make a mess of it, Bakraut. Unbind me and stick an axe in my hand! I owe you nothing, raven shit. Yours is a clan of thralls and peasants. You! Lay that axe aside or die by mine! You should be on a slave ship to Ireland, Wolfkist! But if you wish to be my first sacrifice... Odin will be more than happy to receive you. You just killed yourself, Erki. I will sell you to hell herself! Kneel, wolf kissed, and I will spare your life. Shut your hole and fight! Die, you sack of shit! Father, you should have held on to this until the bitter end. If I give my life, will you spare my clan? Let him know! Pick up your axe! Kill them all! No! Eivor, are you bewitched? Unbind us! What? Oh, yes, of course.
Well caught, so Wolf Kiss. Death. Even if What's your wits were you somewhat then? rattled. Listen here. If you can breathe, you can fight. Now come, we take back our ship. You do not need to tell us twice.
Dag, Braggy, grab your oars. The whale road leads us home. Gods, it's about time. Stop yapping and start rowing. Run up, sea sail! <laughs> Silent, Eivor. Anything to say for the mess you led us to? We suffered no losses in this fight, and the men who humiliated us are dead. What is there to say? Oh, something like, I was stupid, selfish, reckless, blind, boneheaded, and I smell like blood and shit? I like my version better. Eivor, look! Someone is setting up an outpost on that island. Shot of his men, gnawing at any piece of open land like dogs worrying a bone. Even with you half in the grave, we could easily take them. Vorungur okkar frækinn. We must row in these waters. Sail out! Sig Luf!
Cursed oh. Come after, Stirmar. Jotve will come for us now, harder and stronger than before. No surprise there. This war has spun on for three generations. I hardly expect him to relent. Your hatred for that man burns bright wolf kissed. I could warm my balls on it. Would you not prefer a pair of sealskin breeches? Just take care, Eivor. Such hatred can make you careless. What he did to your father, he did to all of us. You are not in this fight alone. Stretch your wings, Sunan. King Stirbjorn will scold you for setting out against his wishes. Of course he will. Is that not something you worry over? I worry only that our king will not see that I'm right. Until it's too late. What about Sigurd? What would he say? If Sigurd were here, he would be sitting beside you, wiping the blood from his axe and smiling into the breeze. Stay!
Kill them all! Die. Patience! Look for the opener! Won't survive! Fool! Be blocked from the other side. And what will you tell our king about this misadventure? Only the truth. That we attacked Jotvis' fortress, killed his men, and weakened his control of this land. 
Will you mention the part where you lost your crew and were nearly sold as a thrall? Will that be part of your saga? If there is a skull to dare sing that verse, it will be his last song. Sailing here is not possible. What do you think you're doing? Well, well, the Feather of Ravens returns, and not half dead. We thought we had lost you, Eivor, for good this time. A warm welcome as always, Randri. You look like red and shit. What happened? Nothing to crow about, except to say the men who delayed us are dead. And how are you? Well enough, though I have spent many tiresome days calming the rages of our king. Shh. And what of Sigurd? Has he returned from his raids? My husband should be home today. The last we heard, he was approaching Stavanger. Good to hear. We have need of his courage. Sigurd will not save you from his father's wrath, Eivor. You should know that by now. Did your raid not go as planned? They rarely go as planned. But we killed many of Kyotr's warriors. And there was this. My father's axe among the dead. Ah. After so many years. You should take it to Gunnar. He will give it back its edge. A good idea. After I see our king. That I do not advise. Not yet. He is meeting with a messenger from the north. I can wait. A cloud hangs over you. Is something wrong? Seeing my father's axe after 17 winters, it stirred something in me. A feeling I have not had since the day he was killed. Since the day I got this. Memories of past agonies. Of sadness and pain. I should speak with Valka. She could help me make sense of my... feelings. Take your time getting settled. I will see you at the Longhouse. I think you have lost your edge, Eivor. Just like that axe. Maybe Gunnar can help you with both. I will let you know. Eivor! Looking rough you are. Welcome home! Eivor! Did you bring us any treasure? I returned with a boat and a full crew. That is worth more than silver. That doesn't count! You need silver! And jewels! <laughs> Shut up, Rolf! How do you know? You know... Toby, trading a needle for an arrow, I see. Eivor, can you teach me the art of archery? I would be happy to. See how I'm standing. Plant your feet in the ground, no wider than your shoulders.
Breathe in as you draw the arrow back. Look at the point you want to hit. Now imagine the arrow passing straight through it and far beyond. Breathe out, then release. Sit a while and play, friend. Orlok, there's a player in every port and city. Yes, Orlok. Join me? Let us begin. Straight and to the point. May the best hand win.
have cornered you now. You win. Tough luck. Try again. Another time, perhaps. Well, look who it is. Practicing your wordplay, Alvis. Ah, Eivor! <laughs> the only mouth in Midgard from which I fear mockery. You taught me the art of writing poetry, old friend. It is only natural that I surpass you soon. How about another lesson, then? A quick flight. Right here, right now. What do you say? Let's try flighting. I always put a few coins down as a wager. Most of those who enjoy flighting have an equal fondness for betting. But today, we'll abstain. Let me begin. I'm ready. In flighting, it's key to match cadence and rhyme. It's as much about sound as it is about time. So be careful in choosing the words that you say. I'll recall what you taught ere I enter the fray. A fine answer. Perfect rhyme and a lovely cadence to match my line. Now, let us examine meaning. <clears throat> in flighting, you'll need to be cutting and keen. It's about wielding wit more than venting your spleen. If I tell you you're foolish and stupid and dull... ...then I'll tell you you've nothing inside of your skull. Eh, ah, a good response. I called you stupid and you turned it around. Flighting about wit, you matched my meaning. When you think of too many perfect retorts, Use the one that best matches the meaning. Last one. So go, then, and conquer the world with your wit. Go be clever, be quick, show your spirit and grit. I look eagerly forward to seeing how you fare. I will flight you with flourish and best you with flair. Perfect, yes! <laughs> you could destroy me with such a line. Your flighting's astounding, you're worthy of praise. You swing a fine axe and you turn a good phrase. Thank you, Aldous. I'll take the lesson to heart. Gods. All right, Tekla. Hey, Tekla. What is brewing? Alvis tells me this brew is too strong. Think you can handle a few rounds? Many fostra tostics were the lettery, but she not. This the part in the never Australia e an egg camps and stokes till further. Be kissing a flagstone soon.
I could outdrink every one of you. Don't feel bad. Most of these backgrounds would have pissed themselves off past by now. Come and drink. Let us amuse the gods. All right, Tekla. I'll outdrink you. This land will never prosper. Who would like to hear a story? Who would enjoy a tale of the gods? There has always been war. Swain, have you designed any new tattoos? A few worth looking at. Let me have a look. Go ahead. Good. Need anything else? See you later, Swain. Sure. <laughs> Hi. Can you point me to some good hunting grounds? I could, but I don't want every iron foot with a bow scaring away the game. Bring me three deer antlers to prove your skills, and I might just have a story for you. A worthy challenge. I will see you soon. something here you might like to see. Thunderclap of Thor! Is that your father's axe? I have not seen this beauty since, well, for some time. I forged this weapon long ago. Still looks good. One of my finest, I think. It has a blunted blade, but it swings well. Can you sharpen it? I can give it a better edge and reinforce the handle. And as luck would have it, I have one ingot left for the job. Are you sure? The fates have will it so. But in future, bring your own metal ingots. I cannot forge them from empty air. That should do it. 
Anything else? And how are you, Gunnar? Holding up? Yeah, work is good and my spirits are strong, but my nights are newly cold. My lady left me, if you have not heard. I had. Sorry to hear it. You were together how long? Uh, five weeks it was. Five beautiful, passionate weeks. But all that is done. Will I never find my Brunilda? Valkyries do not walk the world as they once did, Gunnar. Maybe set your sights a bit lower. Lower? My friend, look at my wares, my weapons. I'm not a man to settle for less than the finest of anything. Need anything else? That's all for now. Return any time. When Midgarda was shot, Asgard was torn. They must be finished now. If you have any other business, it may be wise to do it now. Let him cool down. I could speak to Volker first. Get this weight off my mind. The king is not going anywhere.
world has deserted again! Come back, or be Brandy the deserter! Do you want to be an outlaw? This is your last chance! Why are you shouting? Ivan has wandered off again. Every time he claims he got lost in the mountains, I have had enough. If I have to risk more men looking for him, he will be branded and outlawed. Ivan... He's Gunner's sister's son, if I have it right. Do not fire your irons yet. I will have a look around. The God-cursed background has deserted again! Brandy the deserter! Hey! Watch out, you mad dog! Hamuram. Hamuram. Valka? Hush! I need silence to hear the songs of nature. Hamuram. Hamuram. Svala. She gives praises and she is greeted. For your hearing, I hearken. O oh, ancient ones, great Odin, great Freya, I give you thanks for your gift of Seder. She gives thanks and she is blessed. Eivor, it has been some time. What brings you so far to see me? I... I have come for your advice. On a private matter. Come. Is your mother well? Her mind is a jumble. She speaks to spirits. I fear her final winter has come. But she has me. Now, let her speak I to your needs. I have had a vision. A powerful vision. It may have been my battle lust, or a delirium caused by the cold, but... Describe it for me. After 17 years, I saw my father's axe again. And when I touched it, the vision came on fast. There was a wolf howling in fears, and then a figure. A gray beard in a cloak with a single eye. He bid me follow him. Ah, the High One. He calls to you. Perhaps he means to speak with you. Deliver a message. Only through Seder will you see more clearly and unravel the threads that sit tangled upon your mind. This will not take long. What are you brewing? An elixir to loosen your hugur and unwind your thoughts. You will enter a waking sleep. ...and journey to the world of dreams. It may confuse or disorient you... ...but you must take note of all you see. Drink. If you seek true understanding.
I saw nothing, Volka. Felt nothing. Harvey! Harvey. Harvey! I walk among the dead. Sigurd. Sigurd! Brother, when did you arrive? What is this? no other way, Harvey. Our fates are fixed. Sigurd! Sigurd! What has... what has happened? This was not for you, Javi. Steady, Eivor. It is Valka. I am here. Gods, I thought I... What was that? Tell me everything. I, I, I was on a mountain, in a, in a violent blizzard, climbing toward the summit, following a, a wolf. Mm -hmm. And the wolf was eager for my attention, as if it were beckoning me to follow. You are the wolfkist, fated to carry its mark for life. In this case, it might represent your ambition, or your fear. I saw Odin and the Nornir spinning the threads of fate. They were watching me. Mm, not watching. They were showing you the way forward. Your life, your path, what lies before you, and where it ends. I saw the gates to Odin's Hall of Slain Champions. They opened for me. Shades of Valhalla, for which you are destined. I do not know what else to say. My, my memories are faint, hazy, 
Did you reach the summit of this mountain? I did, yes. Sigurd was there, wounded, in pain. His fighting arm was missing. Then the wolf reappeared, the size of a dragon, twisted and terrible. It fixed its eyes on me and struck. Then I awoke. The gods favor you, Eivor. They always have. You will have your glory, and you will earn your place in Valhalla. But these portents carry a darker truth. The missing arm, the trail of blood, the beast. You will betray your brother, Sigurd. That is the meaning of your vision. That cannot be right. I would never betray Sigurd. He's my brother, my family. The Nordnir have spoken, and this is their message. No! This is wrong! Or you misunderstand! That cannot be right! You will betray Sigurd. Odin fought against his fate! It can be done! Ivan is asleep on his watch. That would explain some things. Ivan, wake up! Or you will be cast into the wild! Must stay awake. They could be anywhere. Is he walking in his sleep? <laughs> they are everywhere. If we die, everyone dies. <clears throat> Must not fall asleep. Need to see them coming. Ivan, wake up! You're headed for the edge! Is he going to ride the rope slide? Storm coming. Huh. 
Ivan, Ivan, calm down. You are asleep. No. I was flying through the air. In your sleep, a harsh awakening, true. But at least you live. Have you always taken these dream walks? Since my posting here. When I am in bed, I worry about ways we could be attacked. When I'm on watch, I cannot stay awake. Only a fool stays awake all night worrying. You're tired when you get up, and the problem is still not solved. You speak with the wisdom of Odin, Eivor. I will think on these words when I am in bed. Consider them on your watch, and sleep when you're in bed. But now, report back before you label the deserter. Go. I have not had the win all day. I must turn this around. They must be finished now. The king has called for his best mead, so the talks are concluded. It should be safe to enter. I'm ready to face the thunder. I will speak with the king now. Excellent, King Stierbjorn. I will take this proposal to my nephew. I believe he will see the wisdom in it. Good. It is all I can hope for. May the...
May the winds favor your voyage. Shh, good farmer. Eivor, come forward and explain in plain words why you have willfully disobeyed my commands. Do you mock me? I do not mock you, King. I mean to embolden you against your enemies and your own poor judgment. You know nothing of my judgment. You know nothing of my plans, and my son might agree with you, but he would obey me. He knows his place. Not as well as he knows his father. Imagine you are harassed by an enemy with warriors that vastly outnumber your own. What profit does open war bring? Would it not be better to work quietly through diplomacy, gaining alliances? Waiting until the day our... our numbers outweigh our enemies and our victory is guaranteed. Do we have any allies to speak of? Or is that your excuse to do nothing? Your confidence blinds you to so much in plain sight, Eivor. Day and night I toil to forge ties with clans to the north. Very soon you will see the fruits of my efforts. Only then will you understand. Is that all? I'm at a loss with you, Eivor. When I took you in as my own, never did I imagine such disrespect from the child of Varin. Your father was a fine man. Just and loyal to me, he died bravely so that we might live. He died a coward, Lord. A fate I will not mirror. Why do you carry such a useless burden? Let it go! Think only of the days to come, of your future and the victories at hand. My honor has been stained. Until it's wiped clean, I want nothing else. I refuse to pick at that wound again. But if there is something that can chase these shadows from your thoughts... Sigurd has come! Down at the docks, his ship is here! Hey, hey, careful with that one. Eivor! See good? <laughs> oh, look at you, blood-soaked drinker. What, have you been worrying without me? Oh, and you... Salt cured, Vikinga. I smell the stink of a dozen kingdoms in your beard. <laughs> it's just a start. Randvi, my dear wife. Your husband returns. Bringing gifts and riches to share. And new friends, I see. Yes. Basim and Hytham. We met in Miklagat, and they showed me her buried secrets. We are grateful to Sigurd for his invitation, and... Eager to pay tribute to your king. My brother is always very careful with the company he keeps. If you're standing safely beside him, he must like you. Ah, Eivor. Save the introductions until our bellies are full. I will see my father. Tell him of my time away. This morning we traded with a ship passing south. They told us Eivor the Wolf Kist was captured by Kjotve's men. 
They must have cut the tail short. I killed my captors and recovered my crew. And for that, your father scolded me. You know where I stand, brother. Nothing short of war will dislodge Kyotre from our lands. But he disagrees. I know. I know. Father thinks too much and acts too little. Today that changes. I promise you. By the winter's end, the name Kyotre the Cruel will be a curse on the lips of a drunken fool. My son, welcome home. Uh, father. Tonight we feast and celebrate your return, Sigurd. The tables are laid with barley and lamb, bread and mead. And no more, I beg you. I want nothing you would not serve a thrall. Let me be the one to honor you. I bring gifts and tales from faraway lands. After two winters away, I am full up with both. Very well, very well. Come inside. And when we are fat and satisfied, father, we will talk of Kyotve and his clan, and how we may end their terror once and for all. He has dogged us too long, shamed us for too many seasons. I know this. Eivor knows this. It ends now. Yes, of course, when the time is right. Through Rusland we barreled down the Volga River, raiding as we went, shadowy tribes hurling spears at our ship. At Miklagard, we saw men bedecked in riches as vibrant as the Biverest itself. And these we took for our troubles, of course. We sailed to Rome, then Africa, past oceans of sand, warriors of all colors, and beauty the eyes must weep to behold. And now I have returned. With riches and glory to share with my family, my friends, my eyes for Strengir. So take what you desire from my horn. For this, this is only a taste of things to come. Tomorrow, the Raven Clan starts anew. Skull, Sigurd. Skull! And you, Eivor, come. I have something special for you. I thought long and hard on a gift worthy of you. You've snared my curiosity, brother. What is it? Not yet. Drinks first. To my first night in Thornburg in over two winters, it must end with me soaked and wall-eyed, shouting at the shadows of trolls. And you want me to sail with you on these honey waves? Yes. You are stuck with me, Dringur. Now drink. <laughs> oh, you would put Thor to shame. Forgive me. On your first day back, I should have let you win. <laughs> Gods, you should have let me... It is good to have you back, Sigurd. Yes. I've missed... When I first met Basim, I regaled him with tales of our homeland. And it was then I felt a hard longing to return at once. <laughs> Come. This brings us to your gift. These excellent men were my shepherds through much of their homeland, the Abbasid Caliphate. They are a clan, not joined by blood, but by a common idea. A brotherhood of shadows executing their own form of justice. In my time with them, they shared many of their most hidden secrets, for which I am grateful. And now... I gift one of these secrets to you. A weapon for the finest warrior I know.
Beautiful craftsmanship. What kind of smith makes a weapon like this? It is less a weapon than a tool. One we have used for centuries to fight injustice and evil. Mentor, I must protest. This is deeply unorthodox. Our wrist blade is a sacred tool. Do not tool. make a fetish out of cold metal, Haifa. What matters is the mind of the one who wields it. Please, try it on. The blade should ride on the underside of your arm to conceal it from your target. I have no wish to hide this. And I would rather not make the same mistake you two have. I like it. This is no mistake. This is a voluntary sacrifice to prove our devotion to... A good start, Eivor. But you must learn how to use it effectively. Outside. This is not something for all eyes. Lead on. This clan of yours, it has a name? Indeed. But among the tenants of our creed is a vow to never reveal too much to outsiders. In time, you may learn more, but not here, where the walls and trees may have ears. I look forward to it. Here, let me lead you through our most basic techniques. Wielded with skill and care, our blade delivers a singular killing blow. As you near your target, find your window to strike. Timing is essential. Excellent. I have not seen a blade so sharp. Some targets are trickier than others. Keep that in mind before you strike. A decent attempt. Take that one down from the ledge. Exactly, just like that. How about a challenge? Leap down upon that target from above. That's it. Use your surroundings when possible. Strike from that haystack, for instance. A perfect strike. Mentor, does Eivor intend to join us? Not that I am aware. Then why offer him a blade? Surely we have more... Hytham. Hush. You wield the blade well. Let us leave Eivor to enjoy his gift in peace. Come. Eivor, let us walk to the docks and take in the night air. What do you make of my new friends? They seem generous and menacing in equal measure. I know what you mean. They have learning, too. They wield numbers and writing as if it were my world. All of which I will share with you when the time is right. Oh, I miss the smell of this land. Have you returned for good? Or do you mean to join this Shadow Brotherhood? Leave all that aside, Ivor. Tonight we are family again. The here and now is what matters. Our kinship. Our clan. Our glory. I missed you, brother. Your clear head and your courage. We have not had enough of both in recent months. <laughs> you flatter me, wolf -kissed. Keep it up.
From here to Valhalla, I will always be on your side, Sigurd. Always. This fjord has grown too small to contain me, or I too large. There is so much more beyond these stony fangs that rise around us. England, Ireland, Francia, all greener pastures, ripe for the plucking. Tomorrow, we make new war on Kyrtve, and reclaim the lands he took from us. And from there, we build a kingdom for us. I'm with you. Only say the word. Good. Get some rest and return here at first light. The Nordnir have spoken. You will betray Sigurd. Ah! Odin fought against this fight. It can be done. You will betray Sigurd. Shit. Kjotvis warriors. Bad feeling, just the three of us. We should return to not fall with our report while we can. We can bring Kyot the news of the longships, or we can wake him with Sigurd. Ah! Sigurd must know about this. With each day we wait, Kjotve grows stronger. I speak as your king, Sigurd, not your father. Heed my warnings, or be off. You will be... We do not have the men to storm Kjotve's fortress. The losses would ruin us. The losses have ruined us, father. Until we cut off this serpent's head, it will poison us day by day, drop by drop. The poison has already polluted our waters. God save all. What happened? Spies in our camp. Three men sent by Kjotve to kill us as we slept. I returned the favor. There, you see? This is what waiting brings. We must answer this insult. They came from Notfall, that wailing village under Kjotve's control. We hid him there. 
burn it down before Kyrtle learns his spies are dead. He may have sent more. Indeed. I will send Hytham to search the area. You can rely on him while we are away. We? Do you mean to join us? I have not been bred for Valhalla like you, but this will be far from my first battle. I do not like this, but I will not stop you. Do not lead my son into the same storm that follows you. Good sailing sail. wind here, Eivor. Warriors! Let the sail out! Gringi. When I was away, right far from these frozen shores, wondering if I should ever see home again, I grew afraid. Afraid I would not return in time to see Kurtve's end. Afraid I would not see him bleed out like a stuck pig in a drift of snow. But here I am. Home in time to join those I have missed, those I love, in this glorious fight. Today we seize Nochtfall from Kurtve. Tonight his heart will pulse with worry. Tomorrow it will burst from fear. He will beseech the gods for aid, for they will be deaf to his cries. And soon the Raven Clan will feast on his dead. You know these isles best, Wolfkist. Lead us to victory. I will show the way, but you must lead us there. Oh, Eivor. I missed having you at my side. How I wished I could have taken you along on my travels. Stiebjörn did not trust fate with both our lives. He had no reason to fear. Together, we are unstoppable.
get on the other side. Ravenclan, you reap a bloody harvest. Who are you, Gester? Name yourself. I know his face. He met with your father not long ago. I did, indeed. I am Guthorm, uncle to King Harold of the North. I speak for my nephew when there is need. This is not King Harold's land. Why does he send warriors so far south? You may ask him yourself, my lord. Thank you, Uncle. And you are Sigurd of the Raven Clan, is that right? Son of the wise King Stebjorn. I am. And you are standing on his land, King Harald. Land we have reclaimed with blood and steel. That I see, and I honor it. For I have not come to war against you, but for you, at the request of your father. The Canny Wolf. Was this the plan he spoke of? I offer my support. With my warriors, your Raven Clan can take Kyrtve's fortress and settle this rivalry for good. This is good news, Eivor. The Wandering King will tip our fortunes. Why risk your men to help us, King? Have you a stake in this fight? This war between Kyrtve's clan and your own has long simmered on my southern border. I wish to see it put to rest. There will be no peace while Kyrtve lives. But there is much agreement between your father and me. This blood feud runs deep, King Harald. 
We welcome your help, but I must lead the charge. I see. Is this a question of honor? It is. Many winters ago, Kyotve broke an oath to our fathers. He betrayed a friendly peace and slaughtered many. I understand. Sigurd Jarl will lead the assault against Kyotve and his clan. Give him full command of my ships and my warriors. When your victory is in hand, Sigurd, find me at Alrekstadir, and we will celebrate together. Our men will gather at Florley, near the mouth of the fjord northeast of here. Will you join us? Hold a moment. You captain our longship, Eivor. Meet us there, and we will claim Kjotve's head for the gods. Brother, I have waited too many years for this day. When Kjotve stands before us, give me the final blow. You will have it, Eivor. You deserve it. Eivor! Give us a hand! Hardald is generous with his troops. More than I would be. I cannot fathom this game. He is either a young fool, or deceptively wise. Whatever his reason, I have a good feeling this war is near its end. Eivor, you missed the opening act. Kurtve's forward camp melted like a spring thaw at our approach. Is it from here we launch our attack? We do indeed, and we are ready to fight. King Harold's forces are well in place. Only give the word. I will, but before we strike, I have a request. Name it. That Eivor may give challenge to Kjotve at the gate of his fortress. A battle to the death in single combat. Is... is this what you want? Kjotve robbed my father of all honor and dignity. I will win it back. When honor is at stake, let none interfere. And if Kjotve should die before the battle begins, all the better for our chances. Today my blade must do the work of Skuld's sharp scissors, and cut short the cord of Kjotve's fate. Well said, my sharp-tongued warrior scout. 
May we all live to hear that saga sung. Eivor, a word! Basim, hide them. This feud is not yours, yet you fight it all the same. I find that strange. You find it strange because you are wrong. Our clan, the Hidden Ones, have been fighting with Kjotve's order for centuries. You came from Miklagard to kill Kjotve yourself? We did. Or rather, we came so that Hytham could kill him. My apprentice has been studying this target for many months. Is Kjotve's reputation so great outside Norway? Not his reputation alone, but the order to which he belongs. Something of a rival clan to our own. Python, I mean no disrespect to you or the Hidden Ones. But Kjotve is mine. My family's honor is at stake. I understand. All that matters is that Kjotve dies this day. On that, we are agreed. Sigurd Horson! Slink around my walls like a thief in the night. Face me here now. The fight is mine, Kjotve. Sigurd is only here to watch me feed your innards to my raven. Look at this! <laughs> Once again, Abel Wolfkist appears to take a swipe at me. This... This is my father's shame. Today I take back the honor he lost. I call a home gang! Here! Against the Oathbreaker! I will make you beg as your father begged Wolfkiss. Squeal as your mother squealed. Meet your fate. Float. You destroyed my life! I will take yours! You are weak, like your father was weak! Squirm, worm! You dance better than you... Rise, Eva. This is not your day to die. Why do you refuse to die? We're not alone, Kjotve. The old father watches. My blade will drink your blood. Your flesh will feed my wolves. Shameful trick, Wolfkist. You are your father's child. 
Nothing. No. My plan will not be forgotten! I fought as I did, as hard as I did, to survive, for I know what awaits us in the end. Only darkness. <laughs> Clan, your lives are forfeit. Come forward if you must into the crucible of your doom. Your father is dead, Gorham. His debt repaid. Open the gates and you will be spared. Wallow in shit, Wolf. Burns, show no mercy. Archers, fire.
will reward us. A blind pursuit of vengeance has made you predictable. You are a shadow of your father, Gorm. Weak and witless. And you will leave this place as ashes on the wind! Day. Let the coward go! Eivor, the breath of battle rises from my brow. The Skulls will sing of this night. We have won the day, but Gorm escaped. He fled north to King Harald's domain. Let that bruised piglet run where he may. His father is dead. His clan is no more. We are the masters of Ruyavilke. A toothless cup may grow to be a dangerous wolf. Eivor, stop. And listen. You have reclaimed your honor. Enjoy the night's victory. Tomorrow, we will celebrate. You're right, brother. You're always right. Guth Ormur, relay news of our victory to your nephew, the king. I have done so already, Sigurd. You'll be more than pleased, and will ensure you pride of place at his Althing at Ulrikstadir. Tell him we will come, battle flushed and singing songs of glory. Keep company with kings, and you will soon have a crown of your own. <laughs> if the fates have spun it so, linger here and loot what you can. I will bring news of our victory to father before he leaves for Harald's Althing. I know, Sunan. Another time.
Closer, please. Show me. Oh, 
shame in being patient. <laughs> <laughs> What is all this? Who bangs the drums of war? Look at you! A battle-hardened vikinger! <laughs> Just what we need! Oh, and what do you need this battle-hardened warrior for? One day, we will be the greatest warriors beneath our banner! Skulls will write songs off the wolf pack, but we must first practice our raiding! <laughs> Going on a raid? Then we shall raid! Three wolves and I will be forced to your lead. Wolf pack! Onwards! Wolf pack! They ran. Four warriors, like four limbs of one clawing body. Each limb built to kill. Destroy. Arrived at the village. Torches, axes, and blades at the ready. Ready for the slaughter. To war! Ah! His insides are all outsides now.
big wolf? Uh, 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 a successful raid. Yes. With your help, we slaughtered the Raven Clan for good. The Raven Clan, you say? Yes. Just like Chotve Yal's stories. One day, I'll be just like him. Cutless young raiders. I'll see you wolves on another battlefield one day. Your clan is a fine stench. We are strong, Ergi. You've just won your heart's desire, Eivor. Yet by the look on your face, you've lost your will to live. Gorm is here with the last of his men. Why does that troll dare show his face? Leave it for another day. We are here under Harald's truce. And Gorm is too weak to try anything bold. Here's a seat stain on his father's trousers. I should wipe him from this world. Not tonight, Eivor. Leave it. Basim, watch over this one and see that he warms himself with drink. I will find my father and escort him to the longhouse. As you wish. Is Hytham well? He will heal, but never fully recover. It is fortunate that you were able to succeed where he failed. My resolve was strong. When you slew Kyotve, did you see a sigil on him? Silver, the size of my palm, bearing the symbol of an ash tree? 
Take it. Trade it for what you can. I know where Gorm is camped. If you wish to see him without anyone the wiser, there is a trick I can teach you. Already looking for another princess? All right, I'll bite. What do I do? Use your cloak to obscure your face. Blend into the crowd. Divert attention. Hide in plain sight. Is this how your brotherhood operates? You sneak around in the daylight, stepping your victims where they stand. Said like that, you make me blush. We are seekers of justice, shepherds of man's will. We work in the dark to serve the light. I suppose there's no shame in using deception when honor is at stake. And Gorham is a stain on that honor. Then let's see what can be done to cleanse that stain. Give it a try. A few things you should know before you step into his camp. Walking unseen through hostile territory is an exercise in subtlety. A hood makes you forgettable, dismissed, and to be invisible to them. Do not draw blade or hammer, for these and other sudden movements can break your disguise. And in case I wasn't clear, you will need to put up your hood for the trick to work. Gorm is there, in the camp ahead. What were you thinking? Drinking mead on an empty stomach? Uh, you have to eat something before drinking that much. How does that go? Feed before meat. I have some roasted lamb on a spit. Are you coming? Let's slow this imp down! Die! 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 Eivor, you are shit. Take up your weapon and follow me beyond these walls. Let Odin's favor land where it may. You dare not break the king's peace here. So fuck you and your god talk. What say you to that? You are all subject to King Harald's truce. Break his peace and you will be cast out of Alrikstad. I will give you no trouble. You were shed into this world without honor, Gorm. And you will leave as a turd dumped into hell's deepest ditch. Keep crowing, Eivor. You only make yourself an easier target. The all thing will have started. I should find Sigurd.
Thor himself could now drink me. Some hope. Shall we lock horns? Down it faster than me, and you are the victor. Let's see your silver. What's a drinking game without a prize? Oh, how exciting! Ha! Ah, we drink! Don't hurl into the barrel, okay? <laughs> Hello, friend. Come see my wares. These are locally sourced. Are you sure there is... I'm off. Be well, friend. Does everyone in Alrek Stadia play their love game so loudly? No, it's just my husband. He cannot satisfy his wife! Ah, old age? No, he's still young and fit. It was not always so. He could not keep us apart when we were raiding. He, he would plow you during raids. Our first time was in the middle of a burning village. Now, after a while, the crew made us stop. They said it was... distracting. Love can burn brighter near death. Have you tried revisiting these memories? Yeah, but talking about it is not the same. I need to feel it. Smell it. So you need to bring the excitement of the raid into your bed. You could help us pretend we are raiding. That will make my water flow. Come, we must tell my husband. I was only, uh... well... All right. Grab your weapon, you big, strong vikinger. Today we raid. A raid? Now? Join me in the blood dance. Fill me with your battle lust. Oh, yes, yes. Let us go, Viking. Maybe you could start by breaking things. And scream as you do, like it is really happening. Huh? <laughs> 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 
It is amusing, but not arousing. Yeah, it does not feel real enough. Maybe you need more fire, like your first time. Yes! Burn down our house! Burn it to the ground! What did it? I am as hard as Heimdall's tower! Then ram me like the Valgrin skates and enter Valhalla! Take all plunder you want, Vikinger! And take us also and let the love hunger consume you! Another time, maybe. But I will help myself to your chest. Gorm still lives, Eivor. It pains me to say. He does. Thank you. His day will come. Ah, oh, gods. I hate long speeches. Only when you're not giving them. Many of you knew my father, Halfdan the Black. A great man who achieved great things. They buried Halfdan's leg near our temple. The crops have never grown taller. <laughs> They buried his arse near ours, and we get nothing but a muddy river! I dream of something greater. A vast kingdom of warriors in numbers the world has never seen. United under one king, one rule. Too much blood has been spilled fighting one another. Today, we unify. And turn our blades outward to conquer new lands. And who better to lead us to glory than me? I was blotted before the age of ten, and I led the greatest army Norway has ever seen. But they say a wise king seeks honest counsel, so I ask, who among you rejects this new arrangement? I am not your enemy, King Harald, but I will not be your subject. Tomorrow, we sail for greener shores, and so my kingdom is yours. This saddens me, noble Hjor. And does your wife agree? Is she not tired of limping ever westward? My husband and I are as one in this lord. We do not limp together. We fly. I'm sad to lose a woman of your spirit, Luvina. But I hold no grudge. May the fates grant you good luck. My king! I offer you my axe and my oath, ironclad. Gorm Kjotveson, you dare show your face in this hall. Did not King Styrbjorn and his son Sigurd rid our lands of your foulness? The Raven Clan dishonored me, great king. They poisoned my father, Kjotve. They made a mockery of his honorable death. Bakrat, you lie! Hold, Eivor. Let it play out. This is a serious charge, Gorm, and a false one at that. Eivor, wolf-kissed. You are Kjotve's slayer. 
This man has slandered your clan. What shall I do with him? I would send him to hell as I did his father. Understandable. But a quick death is too good for a Draugr like him. Gorm, I name you Worm and call you Exiled. Leave these lands by the next full moon or I will feed you to the crows myself. King Harold, may I speak? The floor is yours, King Stabior. My people have held our land since the days when Odin himself walked among us. My kingdom is humble, but we have paid for it in blood. Our victory over Kjotve is proof that we will not lay down without a fight. All here have buried friends, brothers and sisters, sons and daughters. And I, for one, have had my fill of death. Let those who seek war look beyond our shores. If King Harold brings peace, then I am happy to bend my knee to him. What? What in hell's name are you doing, father? Securing a lasting peace, Sigurd. Our days of fighting are finished. You said nothing of this to me. Not a word. And I will not yield a title that should be mine by right! Then war will continue. Men will die, villages will burn, you foolish boy. This is our only way towards true peace. You will die a thrall. You drink addled cow. Alone and toothless in a bed of straw. Forgive my son. He is ruled by his emotions. I take no offense, Stabion Jarl, and I thank you for your fealty. It is natural to fear chains, to resist it. But all things change and all things end. The lessons of Ragnarok are clear. We will speak again soon. That was an ambush, Lord. Did you know of Stupion's plans? For some days, yes, I did. But it was not at my urging. It was his decision alone. Do you dream of a glorious future, Eivor? A warrior like you would be a boon to my clan. My fate is tied to my brothers. Where Sigurd goes, I follow. I wish I understood you better. For those I do not understand, I do not trust, and I cannot stomach a lack of trust. You have nothing to fear from me, King Harald. My loyalty lies with my brother Sigurd, and I bear you no ill will. Then know that if you stay in Norway, both you and your brother must serve under me. Take tomorrow to think on this. But let us leave these matters for another time. Tonight we will eat and drink like gods and wake in a kingdom made new.
Aid me. Be my eyes. You there! What are you doing? If you wish to have words, come closer. Are you one of Harold's men? I am. The king wishes to make a survey of the land he now rules. Nothing more. Let me ask, are you one of the conquered? Did Harold take your lands as well? No. My family has lived under his banner since the days of his father, Haftan the Black. Well, welcome to Fornberg, warrior. How can I help? Do you need anything else? I will free you from this bond. And I will be ready when you need me. First, they will demand taxes. And soon after, they will be living in our homes. Keep your voice down, they will hear you. Fine by me. If those backgrounds come to our door, I will carve them new shitholes! It's Eivor! Open the door! Come in! And keep your voice down! You will alert Harald's men! English will fight back! The wars will never end! Or they will push us into the Christian ways! Harold's colors. He's already marking his territory. Two days ago, we rid this land of Kyrtve and his dogs. Yet today, we do not celebrate. Today we cower under a cloud of fear. But it need not be like this. We are not the heel-trodden subjects of a boy king. We are the Raven Clan. Our destiny is our own. Did you know about your father's oath to Harold? I did not. And for that my anger burns hotter than any man's here. But I will not let that drive me into despair. We cannot stay in Norway. Not under Harold's boot. Not without fueling more war. So we push forward. To newer lands. To England. And there make a new home. A kingdom of our own. The sons of Ragnar Lothbrok have been in England eight winters already. Is there any land left for a clan of our size? More than enough, wife. Of the four kingdoms of England, only one is truly pacified. I have no desire to wear Harald's leash. I like this idea. A saga for the ages, I agree. It will take time and resources to build ourselves a new home. But the riches taken from Kjotve's raid would suffice. No. That belongs to my father, as a fair compensation. In England, we must start anew. You would start us with nothing? In a land we do not know? 
among people who hate us? Kjotvis' riches would go some way to easing our passage, Sigurd. I bested him. It is within my rights to claim his goods. Our leaving must not be an assault on my father. It is a time of renewal for us. If we go, we will need all the help we can get. I say we take cut the spoils for our own. I abhor such theft. But if this is what it takes to sway you to my cause, I accept. Styrbjörn will prosper by the generosity of his new king. Kjotvis' goods belong to us. To England, then, before the day is out. Pack what you need, but no more than that. And tighten your lips. The last thing we need is the attention of Harald's troops. How much did you hear? Enough. A new path is revealed and your journey will be challenging. Will you not join us? For my mother's sake, I cannot. But our threats will cross again before the final day. Until then, farewell. I don't like the way those soldiers watch me. I find if it flattering. they will marry you and carry you off to the capital. Would he? He would take his pleasure and move on, you moon eyed mag. Eivor, the wind favors us. We should set sail without delay. You made quick work of packing. Well done. The dream of new lands is a powerful lure. As is the promise of glory. But the act of leaving so beloved a home... ...there is a sadness to it. Having doubts? No, not at all. The die is cast. Then let fate guide our journey. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let us take to the water and leave unbothered while we have the chance. That chance has passed. Look! Fate flies on swifter wings than we. King Harold's banner. Sigurd! What is this assembly? What are you planning? An exit, father. As graceful as I can. For if I cannot be king in the land of my birth, I will... Your place is here, son, at my side. There will be other victories soon, other glories. My choice is made, father. Do not hope otherwise. There's nothing for me here. I must go make my name in the world. And you have plundered Fornberg's resources, I see. 
You leave nothing behind but your honor. You left me no choice. I entered the Alving a prince. I left the son of a Jarl. There are always choices, Sigurd. I will not stand between you and yours, but I do not accept it. <sighs> Seventeen winters ago, I opened my door to you, Eivor. And now, your only thanks is to rob me? I should have left you to the wolves. Sad old elk. Do not carry his words with you to England. He brought this day upon himself. I know. is over, you weeping sacks of wool! Put some muscle into those pools! Ration your strength, dog. We have an ocean to cross. All right, you lazy back route. Sigurd, what's our course? The sons of Ragnar established a settlement near the coast. We set sail for that. Bragi, sing a song to lift our hoob. To rouse the gods! Inspire a mighty fart from Thor to speed us on our way! An ocean lies before us, Eivor, and on its far side, a new kingdom awaits. You know England well from your troubles. I spent a season in their kingdom of Mercia, a temperate land, lush and wild. By now, the sons of Ragnar will have claimed its heart. Do we mean to join their army? They will join ours. In time, all of England will know of Raven Clan and the glory we brought to that fractured land. So to England! Glory and destiny! Hurvalhalla! In a lecture at the University of Cambridge, Dr. Sierka told a worried audience that scientists have few answers for them. Since the mass coronal ejection of 2012, the strength of the Earth's magnetic field has increased by a factor of 50,000. This has resulted in huge disturbances in radio and satellite communications, dangerous bands of radiation around the poles, and as we can all see from our window, an aurora borealis that never burns away. Unfortunately, we are stumped as to why this is happening. And if we cannot find an answer soon, it may change the way we live, the way we communicate, even the way we evolve forever. Dr. Sierka went on to say, Bought you more electrolytes? Oh, new and improved citrus flavor. Thanks, Sean.
How do we fix this? How are you the key to everything? You're a long way from home, Eivor. Hmm. Did you get my tea? Oof. Mint tea is not actually tea, Bex. It's an infusion. It's really just dirty minty water. I don't care what you call it, Sean. Did you buy any? Of course I did, love. Hey, sorry about pulling you out. The generator was sputtering. That's fine. I needed air. How is the Animus data stream? Comfortable? Felt pretty stable after a while. Good. Just give me a sec and you can jump back in. Another satellite came down. Did you see? I did. One of Abstergo's. That's good. Well... Most of North America just lost its GPS service, so... ...depends what you mean by good, really. Right. Even when we win, we lose. Okay, we're all set. Whenever you're ready, you can jump back in. You mind if I put some music on? Go cool. for it. Let's have a look. It's quite nice. Soothing. Hello, Layla. Sean, what do you make of the grave out there? Well, it overturns a few hundred years of scholarship about the first Europeans to set foot in North America. Apart from that, it's just a bunch of muddy bones, isn't it? Can we talk about this thing on my neck for a second? Ah, the mood stabilizer. Yes. It's not harmful, is it? I mean, I feel good, but I want to make sure there's no... side effects. There shouldn't be. It's only blocking outside signals. A passive effect. So the staff doesn't... you know... mess with you. Sean, what happened last year... I... I had no control over that. I tried to resist. I understand. And your old team? Maybe they don't. But we've seen that sort of thing before. Still, if you want to work with us and get to the bottom of why the world is about to end for the second time in eight years, then you wear that thing until we say otherwise. William's orders. I know. It's not a problem. It's just a few more weeks, yeah? Just until we figure this out. You're right. I know you're right. 
Sean has been busy. You gonna put this in the fridge, Sean? Of course. In half a minute. Remember, tomatoes go on the counter, not the fridge. Please enjoy your stay. Remember, all the garbage must be packed out, and please water the plants once a day. Yeah, I won't remember that. Sean, don't forget to water the plants while I'm under, okay? I'll add it to the calendar. I'll tattoo it on my leg. Feeling okay? Better. But I'm worried that it could happen again. The two data streams. I can't promise it won't. I barely understand it myself. It felt like two minds fighting over one brain. It hurt like a shotgun to the head. Right. There's something about this Viking's DNA sample that feels dense, noisy. Could it be the staff interfering somehow? How do you mean? My headaches, my temper. They started the day I got that thing. I hope you're not making excuses for, you know, your friend. Jesus, no. I'm not. Sorry. Just take it easy. And if you feel yourself slipping again, let us know. I'm trying. I really am. Be nice to sleep in a real bed when this is over. All right, time to go. Norway to England takes about a week by long ship, so I'll scrub ahead. Layla, you okay? Sorry. Can you play the message again? We have the transcript. If you're looking for something, I can no, go and... No, I want to hear it. Okay. I don't mean to be cryptic. It's just... That message led us here. To this place. To a Norse grave in North America. So those bones out there are the only lead we have. Our only chance at fixing this planet before it's too late. Here it is. I lived. I died. And now I sleep. And in my sleep, I dream. And in my dreams, I see an end to the doom that will grip the Earth once again. Find the wolf kissed. Find the mad one. Find me. And save us all from another death. Unsettling, that is. That pulse in the message. Are you sure it's just coordinates? Nothing else? Nothing I can find. Okay, I'm ready. Here we go.
new home. Not a patch on Norway, but we'll make this land our own soon enough. I'm glad to see any land at all, and we'll be happy to have my feet on solid ground again. We must not rush our landing. All you see here is Saxon territory, the Kingdom of Mercia, largely unpacified. There will be eyes watching us from the trees, with bows drawn and traps set. We must be wary. Ranvi, take in your oars, all standing. Have you spotted something? Not yet. But well, let us go ahead to clear the path of any dangers. Then follow our lead when the sun brushes the horizon. Understood. May Thor bless you all on your way. We will see you soon. Sail on. Yes. I'm ready for whatever these green-thumbed fairy folk have to throw at us. Sigurd, do the sons of Ragnar know that we're coming? They do not. But they will not scoff at our visit. Of the four kingdoms in England, the sons of Ragnar have settled only one. The rest is ripe for the taking. Do we mean to join their army? No. No. We will speak with them. Get the lay of the land. And carve this country into as many pieces as we see fit. Look ahead there. Is that what passes for a town? Plain brick in a single rune to their timid god? That rune is called a root, Doug. The cross upon which their god was sacrificed. It sits atop a monastery, a place of worship. That cross killed their Christ, and now they display it in worship? Bizarre. We carve idols of our gods and make wishes before them, like our sacrifices to Odin, the One-Eyed. But we do not worship the wolf that kills him. That is the difference. Whatever strangeness we see in these Saxons, they must think the same of us. The hammer! Now there is a symbol worthy of a god. A bolt of lightning would take that cross clean off. Look there! What are they doing? Ritual drowning. Baptism, Dag. Are the ways of Christians really so unfamiliar to you? Not at all. I simply forgot there must be priests and worshippers alone in that place. We could storm this port with ease, sack it without breaking a sweat. Is there much in the way of treasure there? Always! They shape precious metals and cut jewels to their gods. There will be a fortune there. Later, Dag. There will be time enough for raiding once we have settled. Come to stop the boat. Pull up over there. The way forward is blocked by a chain spanning the river. We must remove it before passing on. A chain? Can we cut through it? It's too thick for access. But there must be a way to release it somewhere in that camp. I will go. And I will be right behind you. No, Dag. You stay here. Should trouble come our way, I want you defending the ship. A good idea. Send out the arrow and keep your sharpest axe at hand, huh? Something like that. Show me. This area is off limits.
won't let us lose. This chain is huge, and poorly anchored, it appears. I might be able to shoot him. Barring any more surprises. I said we go back, Sigurd. Give those dogs a good knock around and take whatever treasures they had. Easy pickings. Not today, Dad. On until, until we reach, reach our, our goal. goal. We cannot, we cannot afford, afford another, another surprise. surprise. Now, now be, be on your guard. guard. It, it should not be far. Gods, I'm ravenous. ravenous. I, hope I hope they have food and the ale on hand when we arrive. You should, should have sent word ahead of us, Sigurd, Sigurd, to get, get something, something on the spit. If Havgan, Uba, and Eva Ragnarsson are lacking food in England, then all of us will starve. Have no worry. I can see it now. A suckling pig, tender and juicy. And the ale as gold as the treasures that we failed to steal back there. A man of simple pleasures, aren't you, Dag? And he is happier for it. For my part, I look forward to standing in the footsteps of the giants that built this land. What giants? The great Romans and their empire. Giants of a forgotten age. They held dominion here long ago, and their ruins dot the landscape. Every brick and stone tells a story of conquest and glory. And now, they are rubble and ash. Ready to be remade. We will rebuild their empire, brick by brick. And ours will not crumble to dust. All things end, Dog. The ruins are not a warning. They are a testament. Look there, just ahead. Where the sons of Ragnar make their camp. At last, they find our feet on steady ground. Sigurd, hold back. Something isn't right. Good eye. There is too little movement for an army. Only tents and a few men. Not the army we hope to find. No. Let us get a closer look. Too ragged and soiled. We should proceed on foot, lest they spot the boats. Dag and I will go together. We all go. If they are friends, I wish to meet them as a yard. And if they are foes, then we fight them all together. Who are these men? They speak with twisted accents. English, no doubt. Dark Avon! On me!
what's this? A mess of filthy Danes befouling our riverways? You there. Give us your name. I am Sigurd Jarl of Formberg. And you are... Men who do not take kindly to Dane invaders creeping into our camp. You'd best move along, pagan. Spare yourselves a slaughter. You threaten those men with a play of swords and expect us to cower? I have been eight days at sea without a drop of blood to wet my axe. So spare the chatter, Bakarat, and draw your weapon. Wait. Set your weird. Let's finish them! Kill these heathen bastards! You have what you wish for. Go get your dog. You're finished. Don't fall for any traps. You'll be puddled. Yeah. You have no chance to turn away. All blood be straight. I want no more surprises. Right. I'll check the longhouse. Shit. Not breathing. Thought I would find at least one of those fools squirreled away somewhere. Go, Zulin. All good. Eivor, look at this. A nice trap. Might be something inside. I'll have a look. Wait. Who are you? Are you with those brigands as well? Sigurd! Dag! In here! Those men had prisoners. You there! Untie us! Let us walk and we will not hurt you! Quite bold in those bindings. I like your spirit. We are very agreeable people, I promise. You need not kill us. Peace, friend. We have no need or wish to hurt you. What are your names? Yenli. I'm a merchant, not a bandit like those others. And this is Rowan. Rowan, that's right. I'm a stable hand, that's all. I keep horses and, well, I did, till those brigands sold them off. They meant to sell us next, as slaves to the nearest bidder. But I ripped their eyes out before I let that happen. And how did you find yourselves here? We came to trade with the sons of Ragnar, at Halfdan Jarl's asking. But they were gone when we arrived. Unbind them. You know the sons of Ragnar? Aye, 
Sold many a mare and stallion to the brothers. Good men. Always paid me fair. From the look of this camp, they've been gone for some time. Where will you go now? What will you do? Repeat my stocks. Start anew. I have friends and allies across the land to aid me. But it won't be easy. Every town and village needs a stable to keep horses fit and trim. I'll find my footing again. Somewhere. What are you thinking? That we could use their skills as we get settled. Having access to trade and someone to tend our mounts would be a boon. My thoughts as well. Any friend of the Ragnarsons is a friend of mine. Right, Doug? Whatever you think is best, Sigurd. Janli, Rowan, I am Sigurd Jarl of Fornberg, son of Stilbjörn. This is Eivor and Dag. Both of you are free to go, but more than welcome to stay if you're willing to pull your weight. We'd be happy to, if only to get back on our feet. Then let it be done. The Raven Clan welcomes you. From strangers into friends into family. The others have arrived. Come. I have a good feeling about this place. Honored family, friends, welcome to your new home. Fine work. A long house to rival any I've seen. Now come. Randvi has found something I would like you to see. Eivor, Sigurd, I give you England and its four kingdoms. Mercia, East Anglia, Northumbria, and Wessex. From the few plans and maps I discovered here, I believe the sons of Ragnar have pushed further into Mercia, here. My scouts will soon tell me if I am correct. And where are we? Here, in this unnamed copse of trees. Unnamed? We cannot let that stand. What will we call this place? I might have an idea. Ravenstorp, the village of ravens. Hmm. I, like I like it. it. The poet in you sings, sings once, once again. again. One, One day, day this name will be known throughout all of England. A name is only a beginning. If we want renown, we must build. Expand. Agreed. We should begin with a forge. Can you help Gunnar get working again? We'll need cargo, supplies. For that our neighbors will provide. Whether they wish to or not. Scarcely arrived, and now we must raid. We, we cannot, cannot master, master this, this land, land merely by asking. asking. I'll, I'll go, go and, and speak, speak with Gunnar now. Good work, my dear. And what, what else, else have you done? Short notes, mostly. Scrap 
scraps of plans and old letters, a few runestone messages. It took some time to decipher the mess and piece it all back together. Not, Not a bad, a bad place, place, Eivor. Not, Not at, at all. all. Can, Can I, help I help you with, with anything? anything? Sigurd, Sigurd wants your forge up and running, and running as soon as possible. As possible. For, For that, that, we need supplies and riches. riches. Ah, ah, you, you mean, mean to go, to go a, a Viking, Viking then? then. Good, good, good. How are Misto's days? Ransacking and pillaging. Blade singing and shield splintering. I would ask you to join us, but you are the only blacksmith we have. We cannot afford your loss. Oh, it's no bother. Better I forge axes than swing them. My place is here, not pulling on the war of a river horse. <laughs> Though you do remind me, I've found a map among the bandits' rubbish, marked up with the locations of Saxon monk huts. Yes. Bandits, Bandits know as well as we do. Monasteries, monasteries are full, full of riches and loot. Take, Take the map the with you. And put, and put it to better use, use than they did. did. We lack the needed, needed supplies to build Gunner's Forge. Forge. I should, I should gather, gather the crew and go raiding. raiding. Get up! Ears and listen all. For the good of our clan, it is time we go a Viking. Today we raid, that tomorrow we may build. At last! We will correct these Christian monasteries like a row of hen's eggs! The Saxons know we are here now. The monasteries will be well guarded. Ah! But nothing more than priests and prayers, I'd wager. Pick up. Pick up. 
I am one with the earth, with the air and water and fire and... What is the other? Clouds! Tree bark. What is that smell? Easy, friend. I think you may have eaten something that did not agree with you. Today, my saga is rich! Glory! Oh, a brave steed has swept me up! Onward to my loyal companions! If I don't stop him, something or someone less forgiving will. I should stay close by, wait for him to tire. My belly hurts and I do not know why! This place is heavily guarded. This victory I will add to my growing saga! Die, you! I'm not going to... Come and fight me! You will be honored to add to my legend! You keep, keep this, this up, up. You, are you are going to get, get yourself, yourself killed. killed. Are you are hearing, hearing me? me? Yeah! yeah! Loud and clear! Yeah! Now stand yeah! aside so that I may fulfill my destiny! Yeah! Am I trying? I'm going to have to drag you back myself, huh? Yes, God. Where are you? I must find my way back to you. I think I, think I, can, I can no, no longer, longer walk. walk. Yes, yes. It, it appears, appears so. so. There is, there is no, no resisting this lasting legacy, legacy I, have I have forged. A wise man, man said it best. best. To, resist to resist is to piss, piss in the wind. The wind. If my, my mother, mother could, could see me now. now. My saga is complete, and it is the envy of all who came before, and all who are yet to come. Your skull. Gods. Is he dead? No, no, but he, but he should, should be. be. Seems, Seems the gods, the gods disagree this time. time. Splash, Splash water, water in his, in his face, face and keep your distance. He will, he will throw, throw up something, something fierce. fierce. Thank, you, Thank for you for the advice and for, for your, your trouble, trouble, which is, which is now, now my, my problem. problem. <sighs>
claim it. Come here! We're done.
back so soon. And with good news, I hope. I think we have all we need. This is wonderful, Aver. A forge bigger and harder than my old forge back in Thornburg. Come visit me any time. For weapons and gear, there is no man better than me. I will, Gunner. Have no doubt. I would like, I would like to, see to see what you, what have, you have in stock. stock. You, you are, are looking, looking powerful. powerful. I will I see, see you later, later friend. friend. Until, Until next, next we meet. We meet. Help. I must I take, take my, my leave. leave. So long. Farewell. With this, we can recruit more warriors. Now I... Our warriors now have a place to rest and train. A fine shelter it is. When word gets out, it should attract many Jomsvikingar to fight with us. Which reminds me, a few of your raiders are chomping at the bit in hope of becoming your second. You ought to pick one.
I would like to reorganize the crew. Found who you needed? All right, bring out my lieutenant. I'm off. Be well, friend. Count on me, Eivor. I'll show you and the gods my worth. I will be patient, for honor and glory. The Saxons break their kingdoms into smaller territories called shires. Eivor! What will you keep in this room? My finest weapon. For this room is yours. Here you may lay your head, hang your axe, or be alone with your thoughts. Do you like it? It suits me well. But I would be just as happy lodging with the raiders on that wharf. I need no special treatment. This is not special treatment. I want you here in the longhouse, close at hand. I may be the Jarl of this clan, but you and I lead together, as ever. So get acquainted with your room, and when you're ready, meet me at the stables. Hmm. A letterbox for messages and requests. A bed better than many I've slept in, and a good place to recover. Hmm, not much, but it is mine. I like living in the longhouse. I feel like a Jarl.
Be ready to ride at a moment's notice. Count on it, my friend. The path ahead is bright. With glory at its end. Farewell, Eivor! But, but why now? Dad, please. This must be done. Yes! What was that about? Is Basim leaving us already? Sigurd means to leave as well. Is that true? We know the sons of Ragnar have camped in the north. It would do us well to pay them a visit, to strengthen our ties to this land. Is that where Basim has gone? Basim's motives are his own. Leave it at that. We have more pressing plans. I am riding to Leicestershire, to a town called Repton. Eivor, I expect you to join me when you have finished here. I can come now. I only need a horse. Not yet. First speak with Randvi. She has more than one task for you here. Apart from growing this settlement, you must seek out alliances as well. We cannot pacify England with so few friends. Then I must join you, Sigurd, for I am a fitter companion on long roads. No, Dag. You belong here with the raiders, and you will act as Eivor commands. Ride in safety, brother. I will follow as soon as I can. Yes, and I will keep our raiders sharp. Do as Eivor commands. Is he testing me? He may be. Sigurd is a wise man. I would sooner take orders from a louse. Eivor, my stable is a bit spared just now, but if you can build me something better, I promise you the finest of beasts. A bustling stable would be a great boon here. I will see what I can do. wanted to see me. As Sigurd has so ordered, it falls to us to expand our presence in England. He wants to forge alliances, ironclad, with every Norse, Dane, and Saxon here. Right. We are the outsiders here. Making friends will help. Where do we start? My scouts come and go daily with interesting news and tidings, and I'm beginning to get my bearings in this fractured land. As I learn more, I can give you insight into each territory before you commit to a journey there. Of course. Once you have gained an ally in a territory, return home and speak to me. We'll decide your next move then. I understand. So, where do we start? You have two options just now. Join Sigurd in Leicestershire to the north and meet with the sons of Ragnar Lothbrok, or head south to Grantebridgeshire to meet an army of Danes led by one Guthrum Jarl and his second, Soma. I should add, our young friend Hytham has been conferring with his own contacts in the cities. His research could be useful in winning us alliances throughout the cities of England. Speak with him, and see what he needs. I want to see the Alliance map. Tell me about Grandebridgeshire. A force of Danes, called the Summer Army by the Saxons, is camped north of Grandebridge at some ruins across the river. We should curry favor with their leaders, Guthrum and Soma, if we hope to win their trust and allegiance. My scouts did not meet them in person, so I can say little for the state of their army. Consider this a starting point. I will leave right away. Good. And may the blessings of Freya follow.
While you were away, your Jomsvikingar helped to serve other Jarls. Here is the tribute they earned. I must be on my way now. Goodbye. Them. Randvi asked me to see you, about finding friends in the cities of England. That's right. London, Jorvik, Winchester, all three are infested by members of the same order to which Kjotve belonged. But their reach extends much further than this. Of all the lands on Earth, I believe England is the most overrun. Do they cause here the same turmoil Kjotve caused in Norway? Not just turmoil. They spread a plague of delusion, teaching men and women to abase and abuse themselves in exchange for power. You have strong feelings about this. Of course. This is the sole purpose of the Hidden Ones, to liberate the body and spirit of man from any unnatural shackles. But we have not operated in England for over four centuries. Since the fall of the Roman Empire, the Hidden Ones have not had a presence here. This absence has given the Order of the Ancients ample room to grow and thrive. Our task will not be an easy one. But with a bureau, Basim and I could begin our work. If you have the time and spare resources to build one, we would be most grateful. I will see what I can do. Raiding is the surest way to find treasures and supplies for building up our settlement. It's a fine day, Eivor. <laughs> to the waves! We need to row our way out. Sail is ready when needed! Who will share a tale? During my 19th winter, King Styrbjorn ordered the construction of a new longhouse. The splendid hall you now see at Thornburg. To build this longhouse, he employed the help of 20 men. I was among them, as was Fradi, the strongest and stoutest man I had ever seen. We set about felling trees and hewing wood for timber. Fradi was the fastest of us. Dropping 41 trees in only two days. On the third day, a spindly man called Nar was near upon felling his first tree. He had hacked it all the way around like some mad animal. When the tree fell, it did so in a direction he had not wished. Straight down upon Fradi. Nar called out, but it was too late. Fradi had only enough time to turn and face the doom bearing down upon him. With that, he raised his arms to embrace the timber hammer. The force of the trees falling drove Fradi deep into the snowbank, yet his arms never let go. He Drop held the that angry trunk as a lover. Like hounds, we scooped at the snow to reach him. We found Fradi ten feet down, alive but in pain, still bearing the tree upon his shoulder. Raise the back. 
We can raise the sail in these waters. More sail! sail. with this.
adelante. Give me a hand with this. Finn on dear Griefer. Hold on. <laughs> Randvi mentioned this place, the last known location of the summer army. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hail! What has happened here? Who is asking? Eivor, of the Raven Clan. Did you and your men fail to take the village? No. No, we had it for a time. It was nothing but a cluster of waterland daub huts when we came. We made it lively. Grantbridge was a thriving hub of trade and song under the care of Suma Ayalskona. But the Saxons took it back. They appeared within the city as if rising from the shadows and drove us out. They just appeared in the city. It was like they burst out of the center of the city itself, setting aflame everything in their path, shouting some nonsense about an ancient order of warriors. By the time I saw the fires, too many of us were killed or captured. Our Yarsko Masuma, she bellowed the retreat and we took refuge in the ruins. But in the chaos, we were separated. She and the bulk of our forces fled northeast into the swamps. I'd follow if we were fit to. We need her iron fist. I can find Soma. Be ready when we return. She'll be deep in the fog of the Fenlands by now. Find her longship. That's your best bet. We can use the sail here, Eivor. Looks like Ragnarok itself came for Grand Bridge. A great battle raged nearby. Hold course. We'll see what else lies within the fork. Aid me. Be my eyes. Come <laughs> on. 
My thanks. You have done Shall right by me. nearby. Not here. Shoma dragged the Saxons east from her longship to tire them out and lose them in the fog. <gasps> what see you, old friend? Take him to the shelter for warmth. Slap some moss in that gash and wrap it well. Remember the boars you felled our first day in England. Hold his arms. Nine. Large and fat. Fed us for a week. Yeah. 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 <laughs> You'll be chasing more in a month, my friend. You come like a Valkyrie out of the fog. We have no dead to give you. You must be Soma. Let's talk elsewhere. Give them a chance to rest. Quite a hit you took. How many were lost? It's kind of you to ask, but with so much blood in the water and death on the air, I'd know your name and purpose first. Eivor of the Raven Clan. I came for you, looking for a friend and ally. I see. I'm Soma, Lord of Grandbridge. Though it seems an order of lunatics wishes to strip me of that title. The Order of the Ancients? Sounds right. The Saxon called Wigmund is one of them. He robbed me of my city, forced us into these swamps. I've rallied some of my soldiers, but my three advisors are missing. If we hope to retake Grantbridge, I'll need them at my side. Tell me about them. They are my best, my inner circle. Bena, Galin, Leave. We may as well be of the same blood. If I can reunite them and we retake your city, can I call you a friend and ally? If you can do all that, you can call me whatever you want. Where's this Wickmund? What does he want? He's a flailing elderman under the old king. A bitter man digging his fingernails into Grant Bridge, just to say he can. He's made many attempts to unseat me before. This time he managed a trick. What happened to Grant Bridge? The elder man Wigman seized it from us. I'm not sure how he managed, but he will not keep it. Not for long. He has supporters outside the city. But this attack seemed to come from inside the walls. From the heart of Grant Bridge. Let's find your advisors. Agreed. We'll look for signs of their longboats along the river. 
And if we are swift, we will find them before the wolves do. The fog is more hindrance than hiding place now. Let's light the way back. Burn long and hut, bright wolf of the branch, and guide Soma's gilded warriors home. I know what you must think. What must I think? That it's foolish to serve. You told me the soldiers you lost were your best, vital to retake in the city. Do you think it's foolish? Not at all. Then why would I? You have the look of one who does well with solitude. You're alone, a wanderer. It may be you think of soldiers as war fodder and little else, but these warriors are more than a blade and shield. They are my family, nothing short. I've lost a city this week, I will not lose them too. I understand. And if your people yet live, we'll find them.
Stretch your wings, Sunan. Watch for the counter! <laughs> Run, rabbit! Time to die! Oh, cut your corpse! <laughs> Leaves longboat. I recognize the heart. A group of Danes held captive. Free me. I'm no use here. Oh, if you would be so kind. Die! I've had quite the day. Look through the fog, leave. Follow the beacon. Our camp is at its base. We'll return when we've found the others.
Leaf is a prim and proper man, isn't he? He lives by a strict code of honor. He lives by a strict code of honor, more than most. ships I've ever sailed. They're the reason we escaped Grant Bridge alive. He's not the strongest man, but he's wise and canny and hard to pin down, like a fish wriggling free of a net. Wolves. They've surrounded someone. Must be careful. Wolves. They've surrounded someone. Must be careful. Behind his shackles, wretched carrion beasts. I don't deserve this. Leave me. Run. Alan, you look terrible. What happened here? Saxons chased me into the fog, ran me smack into a nest of bandits. But Freya was on my side, and I saw them before they saw me. Are you the only one of your crew left standing? I am. And hardly standing myself. But with the blessings of Odin and Freya, they'll be feasting well with the gods. I've said Eivor and I will find the others. I'll head back to camp, and as I recover, Liv and Galen didn't always get along. I need your eyes, my friend. We Saxons surrounding that old hut. There may be Danes trapped inside. Oh, <laughs> 
not welcome. Meet your fate. Ah. Let's do uh. the win. Uh. Uh. Enough to yeah, sail! Yeah. Over here, good warrior. Hi, stranger. Excuse me, I have a slight pain. Do you notice anything on my head? It's a, an itch or a cut that simply won't go away. It appears to be a, a battle scar. Ah, as I suspected. It must be from my most recent battle. You should see the other man. He got the worst of it. Worse than... I suppose it's possible, yes? If he's headless? My arms are numb from battle. Does it need any dressing? Do you think it is a serious wound? Good Drenga. You have an axe in your head. It is grim. I will take it out, but you will surely head off to the next realm soon. Ah. Valhalla it is. I appreciate your candid response. Now I prepare myself for the sights and sounds of the Corpse Hall. I will relieve you of the pain it gives you. Send you down the Bifrost. It is time. You know... All your enemies have been slain. Now, you rejoice.
moment. Ha! <laughs> 
Give me a hand over here. You're finished! Wits! You said!
The beacon has drawn the last of my soldiers. By tomorrow our strength will have returned, and we can retake our city. I have not yet spoken to Leif, Birna and Galen about this. After my missteps, I worry what they must think of me. They'll be grateful you risk your life to find them. I would be. By Thor's hammer, I am glad we're together. In spite of our setback. Galen, you look... well worn. Do not grieve the men you lost. They will be singing your praises in the corpse hall, waiting for us. Thank you, Jarl's corner. Leif, you'd outlast any tempest. It's good to be back, Soma. All as one. And know this, that I will follow you through the eye of the storm if you called. Birna. I'm delighted you're alive. I'm delighted to be living. I lost so many after all this, but I still have you three. That makes me the most blessed warrior in Midgard. And Eivor, you have more than proven your worth. Help us reclaim our city, and you will have an ally in me. My blade is yours, for Grandbridge. We'll rest for the night. Gather our strength and our wits, and at the break of dawn's light, we retake Grand Bridge! Pass the night in our camp, Eivor. Take anything you need. Looks like more of Soma's forces followed the beacon back to camp. Garland, is that right? That's right. And you are Eivor, the infinite fighter, or forever warrior. It's a glorious name. Many thanks. You were in a tight spot when we found you. Indeed. The Saxons pursued me, ran me bloody through the swamps and into the lap of bandits. And the wolves came. We all have our one day. 
the day we die. How you greet that day is all that matters. I'm proud to say that I was ready. Well, it's good to see you breathing still. Leif, Soma says you're the man who built her longships. That's right. Each has a sharp keel, a stout mast, and a poem etched into the hull to sing the praises of the Dringer who commands her. A longship is heavy with fate. Just a few lengths of wood between you and a ward or a grave. What better place to put a line of poetry, hmm? Agreed. It's good to fight beside you, Leif. Likewise, Eivor. Thanks again for plucking me and my warriors from the mire. You're Vienna. And you are Eivor's sunbeam. You cut through the fog like the sun burns through ice. You're in high spirits, all things considered. The ambush, losing your home. In this moment, yes. But ah, you feel that? The moment has passed. We are free to pursue the next. What a gift! It's good to have you in this fight, Vienna. I like you, Eivor. You may help me here or step on me. And by the look of you, I'd welcome either. The day is new, and the air is bracing. Are you ready for the fight ahead? Let's take your city back. That's what I like to hear. Meet me at the western gate of Grantbridge. We've assembled there. Have care you do not enjoy taking orders from anyone but your Jarl back home. I fight for Signy and for Soma's loyalty. We fight for her. Let's get out of here. More sail! Drop the mask! Two teams, hidden. One on each side of the door. Move when you get the signal and not a moment before. Wigman must know we're here. As he should. I will reason with him. He will reject my offer. Wigmund! Honor thief! I know you're up there. Return Grombridge to me, Wigmund. 
No more of our people need die. We may talk this out, lord to lord. Ha <laughs> ha! What are we to talk about? You have nothing I need. Worth by birth, even. I was born a noble. You were plucked from a giant's armpit. I built this town. From a mud hut to a thriving port. And we both know you'll bleed those ridges dry without my guiding hand. Leave! Go die in the m- Wigman, let's try one final time. Quit Grant Bridge. And when she is mine once more, I may spare your life. Ha! I command Grant Bridge. I am master here. And I will scour you rats from this land like rot from a festering wound. Let me give you some advice, old bear. The surest way to stop a wound from festering isn't with a blade. It's with fire. <laughs> now, veins of Grandavridshire, we take what is yours. Jesus, God, No time for that. We must free her first. the wall. Regroup at the longhouse. We'll surely find him there. at your side, Soma. We have this. Feel great.
Earth have calmed here. Go on. I weather the loss of these whelps. Hide from me forever! Come face your death! Heathen eels! Wigmund is gone! He's gone! <laughs> <laughs> Your plague-ridden body feed my fields. Eivor, to me. No sign of Wickman here. He may be hiding within the city walls. Shall we search? No. He'll be gone. Count on it. Arger coward. But we've struck a bold claim today. Walk with me. I want you to sound our battle horn to announce our victory. Let all the Shire know that Grandbridge is retaken. The sound of the horn means prosperity, long life, bounty. Why me? Why not? You were the keystone to this attack. You turn the tide. Let the wind from your lungs breathe life back into my city. Beautiful! Her blood-soaked 
Grand Bridges! Tomorrow, you will stamp out the last of Wigman's fading fires. But tonight, tonight, we feast as gods! My clan throws the best feasts, I think you'll find. You enjoy yourself? I did. But were you celebrating or mourning? You looked unsure. The night of the attack, I heard sounds of bloodshed coming from the Longhouse. In moments, the city was overrun with Saxons, so I called a retreat. We all have our one day, but not like that. Not that day. I've heard this before. That the Saxons appeared as if from the shadows. In all my time in Grantbridge, this tunnel was my most careful project. The best kept secret in the city. Now a hundred or more Saxons know the smell of it. The only people who knew about this tunnel were me, and the three in my inner circle. You believe you were betrayed? I know I was. By whom? That is where I hesitate. Between Leif, Galen, and Birna, I cannot say. But they are the three who helped me dig this in secret. I hoped you might lend me your wits. You are a fresh ally. I could use your eyes and ears. I promised you I'd help secure your city. That task isn't yet done, it seems. Good. I sent Galen, Leif, and Birna to destroy what remains of Wigman's power throughout the Shire. Meet with them. Raid with them. Get to know them as best as you can. Find out which of them betrayed me. A betrayal so wicked, I cannot imagine. Yet someone willing to break an oath like that must bear some sign or defect. I need clear, sound judgment. I need you, Eivor. You have me. Thank you. Feel free to take a look around as you wish. Search the city, the tunnel. And here, a gift. For retaking Grandbridge with us. One of the few things I have left from my blood family. Gladly reave the swan road by your side, Eivor. Join your blade to mine. Let ring the sword song this day.
running again. Hello and welcome. Finished looking around? I must take my leave. So long. Raise the mark! Raise. We can use the sail here, Abel. We can continue later. On the fierce and Northmen Fukatantak, evil weather for Michlo, Champan, King Inges, Fus Chalasu. We 
with me? Oh. Here! All that has happened. What if Soma is just cursed with bad luck? Soma has only ever pleased the gods. Deserting her now, breaking your oath, that is what will bring us. Eivor, I am honored you have joined us. What's your plan here? All the Shire support Soma's ruling the city. These hamlets do not. They're feeding and outfitting Wickman's army. So we will burn their homes, quick and devastating, like the thunderclaps of Thor. How did you come to be in Soma's clan? A vision from a vulva set me on this path. It pricked my mind like a splinter, then faded. But I wanted more. For months, years, I ate only henbane, mushrooms, sacred plants. Dwindled. I lived addled, maddened, a wanderer. Taken in by Saxons and spat out. Again and again. Until Soma found me. Naked and alone in the fence. She clothed and cared for me, humbled as I was. I owe her my life. I'm eager to start throwing torches. Now let's rid these hamlets of Wickman's rats. Light your torches and set your arrow tips ablaze, Eivor. The red enemy of the branch will make quick work of this place. See me, this will get messy. We are a curse visited upon them all. Leave no house unburnt. This is what they get for helping Rand Grand Bridge from Soma. For Lick King Elderman Whitman's boots.
to keep a lookout. Right off here. What's happening? Ah, the smell of burning roof thatch and a heady turf fire. Now that was something. Wakeman is sure to take notice. You stamped and roared like a fiery Sutur himself, marching through the flames of Muspelheim. I'll see you back home, Drenga. <laughs> Better keep my eyes open. Thor lends me strength. Shit! 
Monastery, over there! Thank you, Take the needing scum! We fight! A good friend to me. Thank you. We shoot on lava, you fool! Hey, fellas! Look in the. Ah! Cut me! Ah! Keep your guard up! I'll kill you! <laughs> Welcome. Dead! Uh. 
So slow. Sure. gets longer, the nails grow, even when the corpse is cold. I've seen it myself. That's not true. You think what? There's a bit of life left in someone long dead. No, it's the fumes in the body. Odors grow after a killing, so they have to escape by any means they can. Eivor, my muscle-banded friend! There's a nest of Bigman's men just here. We're going to pick it clean. Every last one. The fewer lies in the bush, the less itchy the pussycat. That's how I see it. How did you come to join Zoma's army? I'd been in England for ages before Guthrum, Ivar, Uppa... ...smuggling under the eyes of Saxons and Danes alike. I lied, stole, had my nose broken. Life wasn't easy, but it taught me how to bear the pain. I just laughed it away. When Zoma took me in, she saw more than a smuggler in me. I was useful to something greater than myself. Useful to her vision. In a world where few saw you as worthy of trust, she's one who did. Right. And I love that about her. I love... everything about her. You seem to bring life and spirit to this clan. Does Soma feel the same? If I knew what was going on in another person's head, I'd find life dreadful and dull. But Soma seems to enjoy my company. In what way? Her own way. Just not in the way I'd like. Painful truths are easy to bear when you can laugh, you see. Delight in the face of suffering is an act of rebellion. What do you think of Soma's other warriors? Galen and Leif? Oh, Leif's got that raw animal pull. Every time I see him, I want him to climb me like a tree and nest in my armpits. He brays about being honorable. But I've never met a man of honor who starts a fire just to be praised for putting it out. And Galen, he broods like it's an art form. He's got this self-importance that is just so charming. We could talk all day, but these Saxons may fly from their nest. You and I should take a closer look. My men will hang back and come running if things go sideways. beside you should bring a thrill. Happy I can see it up close. Don't get too close. I might black your eye or bruise your head. <laughs> You'd lose your elbow before the bruises showed. What see you, old friend? This area is off limits. Forbids that form of pleasure. Is that right? It explains much. God grant me strength. Get behind if you can. <laughs>
much longer, Brand Chor. Leave no room. Thanks, A4. Damned. Need to get on the other side.
you'd of after slaughter. Shame about the smell of men shitting themselves. You fought very well, Bianna. Is that how you flirt, Eivor? Is that how I what? Easy now, Drengir. I'll see you back in Grand Bridge. Troll cursed corruption lurks here. Anything curse is lifted. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
This priest blows as much air as a hailstorm. He cannot be allowed to keep spewing. Did you sail through a storm? You never mentioned. Eivor! A fine day for being out, no? Soma said I would find you here, Leif. What's your plan? We're ridding the world of a priest who spouts praise for the Elderman and funnels tithes into Wickman's coffers. So the plan is this. We sneak in, gut the priest, and return to Soma. That will get Wickman steaming. How did you come to join Soma's army? We came to England together, sailing under Guthrum. The great summer army, the Saxons called us. When Guthrum left for Wessex, Soma stepped forward to lead. Something I would have liked to do myself. And what would you do if you were the Jarl of Grandbridge? I would run the city in my own way. I would not give Birna and Galen's opinions equal weight. Do you not trust them? I wouldn't say that. It's more. Birna's boots are stuck in the mud, and Galen's are in the sky. If death were bearing down upon us, I worry neither would have what it takes to carry us through. You were there when Guthrum made Soma the steward of Grandbridge. How did that feel? Good fortune for her. When Soma took hold, the silver started flowing and the people started dancing. She knows straight. I do wish I'd been bold enough to put myself forward, to take on the burden and honor of running a city. But that's beside the point. Soma is my Jarl's corner, and I'm her sworn man. No act of any god will change that. As a master shipbuilder, what does your work require? Patience and love. I know each of our vessels as a parent knows their child. But building ships needs silver too. The hard wood, the tough fabrics, the expensive paints, the yellow I use, for instance, that must be imported. A high price for a happy color. I'm certain that's why someone stole my paints some weeks ago. Blasted thief. Good conversation, Leif. Now let's take down Wickman's man. Too right, too right. Wickman's whelp awaits his reward. My warriors will distract the Saxon forces at the gate. You and I will find the priest. None of this scuttling around nonsense! I should be cautious around here. Wickman's priest is in the church. Shoot! Shoot! Oh, 
Exodium planetum revolut. Lord, wait. This priest's lies will not poison the Shire anymore. We should leave. my back. brother. to be done! Who's with me? Well struck. We made short work of Wickman's man. That we did. You've proven yourself an asset to us. I'll see you back in Grand Bridge.
Hello and welcome.
Nothing else? I must be on my way now. Goodbye. Did you see anything the night of the attack? Only Lif, fighting bravely. Did you know Lif carves a poem in each of his longships? He's a craftsman and a wordsmith. Where are these longships now? Lost in the fog of the Fenlands, sadly. If I could reclaim them, I would. To return his works of art, he'd be so grateful. To be sure. Good luck to you. Nothing. Insects like you would not be crawling out of the muck if Wigman wasn't hurting. <laughs> Eivor, the plan worked. One of Wigman's captains caught him sniffing around Yeroli Ponte. Remember, you don't need to kill him. Have fun. I'll be planning our next move in the Longhouse. Little boy, little boy, where is your daddy hiding? Godless heathens. Grandbridge is the province of Lord Wigman of Walden. The city is rightfully his. Poor soldier. Doesn't know what heathens do to men of God like him. Hasn't heard the stories, it seems. We can educate him. Look at those ham hands. Could make a nice pair of gloves. And his heart. A heart that beats in a lad like this? Feed a family of six for a week. Let's cut his throat now and water the orchards with his blood. No, oh, sweet lord, no! No, no! He's on the Isle of Ely. Elderman Wigmund. In the monastery. I swear. Hmm. Thought that would take till the next morn. Let's tie him up and let him rot away. Oh, fucking Dane halfwits! The Lord will smite you from this land, all of you! May God have mercy on- <laughs> That home-thieving snake might have cast a curse on us. I couldn't risk it. Christians don't curse. Wickman's on the Isle of Ely. I'll tell Soma what we've learned. Down it faster than me, and you are the victor. Let's see your silver. What's a drinking game without a prize? Purse a bit light. <laughs> no matter. Man your horn! <laughs> 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 
Eivor, what did Wigman's little man have to tell us? Wigman is at the monastery on the Isle of Ely. Hiding among the church mice. I'll need to plan our attack. But I won't face him while the traitor he commands is still under my roof. So what have you learned? Birna is in love with you. Unanswered love is a volcanic emotion. Birna has always been unpredictable. But she's a warrior grown. She does not let her emotions guide her actions. Leif told me his yellow paint had been stolen. Yellow is a troublesome color to make. He was upset when his stores were stolen. Leif wishes he had stepped up to lead, and to be where you are now. Leif has a celebrated place in my clan. As a shipbuilder, he is without peer, and he knows I know this. Galen told me he was near death when you found him and saved his life. Yes. People thought him cursed. He was adrift in deep water. But don't we all deserve a guide back to the shallows? I found a message meant for Saxon forces. It said not to attack any longship painted yellow. There's no yellow on our longships beyond some small details. If there is a yellow longship in the fence, I want to know. That's all the evidence I think we need. You've been thorough. Who is the traitor? Garlin betrayed you. Are you certain? This will be the hardest thing I have ever done. Stay close by me, Eivor. I will need you. Thwart him! How do you plan to deal with this? As a leader must. My family, my inner circle. Today we make sure what has happened to us will never happen again. We end Wigman's life. But not all together, for you cannot survive the winter with a rat in your larder.
Galen. You have betrayed me, Galen. I haven't! Soma, you're the key to my life! You must lead me to my destiny! Carry me to the summit of victory! Do not warp what is real <sighs> with the stories you tell yourself. I have seen no signs of your destiny. What I have seen is my people <sighs> slaughtered, my city befouled, and your delusions fueling the destruction. How dare you think your destiny, your greatness, outweighed all of ours! <sighs> He believed too much in fate, and not enough in us. Take him away. I feel as if I have torn off my own arm. Wickman deserves death, but killing him won't make your family whole again. You think I don't know? This is for those who follow. To join me is to take an oath. To break it is to suffer. We make camp on the outskirts of the Isle of Ely. Join us there. She carries the weight of leadership on one shoulder and the bonds of her people on the other. Now that she's lost one, she walks lopsided. It will take years of toil to rebuild those bonds with her people. Yet she is unburdened now. Lighter. She is a leader, not a friend, Abel. Her mistake was thinking she could be both. Think you can swill with the best? Traitor is lost in hell by now. They will have the lost souls of the dead to answer to. Ah. Soma. Eivor, you're still with me through all this. Do not think I'll forget. We all need someone in dark times. Now let's collect Wickman's head. Good. At the first sign of trouble, my crew will jump in. Oh. 
Spread your wings, Sunan. He's hiding at the summit of the hill. I can smell him. I hope he likes the view. It's the last he'll ever see. Lightning tingles my blood, Eivor. I hear the voices of my slaughtered people on the air, calling Wigman's name. He doesn't leave this monastery alive. Need your eyes, my friend. No fuse out. Mm. Ah. Oh. Ah. To hell with you. Ah. 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 Give me a hand with this. Play off! Oh, we swear that! Uh. 
in your mouth and die! Stop the heathen! Raider! Vikinger! Stop him! He means to erase me, to banish me from your minds. Fight in my name. Die for me. Die for me! That is no way to call for sacrifices. Their lives for yours. Is that how it works? Their lives meant nothing. No land, no riches, no titles. But my name will live on. The reputation of a good man never dies. But your name will soon be a curse. So be it. The riches I had in life gave me power. To curse me from beyond the grave gives me still more. Though I die, my order lives on elsewhere, everywhere. Yield to us. Give us what we are owed. The trade, the riches, the legacy, all of it. Yield, yield, yield! If your hell is real, I'm glad you get to see it. We should return to camp, before I let go and burn this heap to the ground. Going forward, I must take care. Houses can be built anew. Crops will return with time, but trust, that will take longer to repair. But you have a new friend and ally in me and my clan, so the end of the storm is well in sight. You're right. I know you're right. It's just... It's difficult to see that end when you're still in the storm's eye. Lends me strength. Oh, you miss cops. Pay for your sins. You're mine.
Eivor, you've been a guiding light. Calling out Galen like that, exposing his treachery, made me sick with a quiet terror. A betrayal like that is already a kind of death. Galen killed himself. Of course. And now I feel somewhat lifted. The weight is almost gone. Even if my heart needs mending. Ah, while I have you, Eivor, I'm reminded. I have this for you. Keep it, knowing you have my highest respect, regard, and trust. My army is yours, should you need it. Soma Yalskona. My deepest thanks. And... There's something else. As we prepared our assault, Birna had a word with me. We came to a sort of understanding. It may be best if she tells you herself. Until next time, Eivor of the Raven Clan. I hope we will see you in Grandbridge soon. Birna, you struck quite a victory today. Don't undercut your own ferocity, Drengir. It was your blade leading the charge. You are indeed something to behold. We all thought hard. And now Grand Brit is yours. You have your home once again. Ah, soon merchants and priests and reeves will run loose in its streets. All of its muddy charms will dwindle. Besides, with no room for me in Soma's heart, my home burned away in a quiet little house fire. Her priority is Grant Bridge and the people in it. That is noble, and beyond what I will ever understand. So I've decided I'm of better use elsewhere. With you. In your crew. You want to live with the Raven Clan? And sail and raid with you. If you'll have me. Look at this. Who wouldn't? I'll be happy to have you, Drenga. A relief to these ears. I've already packed my bags. Seems the wind calls me back to Randvi. Let's tell her the good news.
I would like to reorganize the crew. Done? All right. Bring out my lieutenant. Good for now? I must take my leave. So long. Ah, the gods are smiling on us. What have you got for me today? Done for now. I will see you later, friend. Put that gear to good use out there. Show me what lies ahead. This will make a fine space for my work, Eivor. Thank you. Well, if your work benefits us, I will see that you keep it, for as long as you live among us. I believe it will, for we have common cause against our enemy. They have dug their claws deep into England. Eradicate them where they are strongest, and the alliances you seek will be far easier to come by. In London, they now operate without restraint. If you were to eradicate them, the city would be in your debt. I will talk with Ranri about your idea. Get her thoughts. Good. Yet, before you do, there is something else. A gift I wish to share. A gift? With me. I will. Lead on. Hear heaviness to your breathing, Hytham. 
Does your wound still trouble you? It does, I'm afraid. There is a pain in my chest for which I have no remedy. Rest easy, then. So long as your mind stays sharp, you will recover. Of course. Though I am reluctant to displease my mentor. You would risk your health and your life to please Basim. That I do not understand. I should not expect you do. When we first arrived, I noted a shadow of suspicion in your eyes. A doubt. A wariness. Is that a question? No. Only an observation. Are you well enough to steer this boat? I am. Have no worry. It is only prolonged stresses that exhaust me. My energy runs low rather quickly. And what is this gift you wish to give me? It will not come from me. It is a gift you must give yourself. More riddles. What fun you are. Let me say it another way. My gift is not for giving or taking. It is a way of living. Well, still no clearer. It is a thing better demonstrated than described. Then I will wait. Forgive my jest. This gift we call a leap of faith. It is one of our brotherhood's most sacred rites. It is not a tool we use against our enemies, but an act we embrace to strengthen our resolve. Like your meditation, it centers our minds, steadies our hands, and purges fear from our hearts. And more practically, it aids our movements, in flight or in stealth. You call it a leap, and we are climbing a rather steep hill. <laughs> there it is again, the shadow of a doubt. Nearly there. Our destination is there. I suspect you mean to throw me from this cliff, is that it? Please tell me if I'm near the mark. And spoil the surprise? To perform the leap of faith, you must give yourself over to something greater. The gods? Yourself. Embrace the hope that death will not come before you are prepared to meet it. Believe this, and you will fear nothing. Our deaths are prefigured. Weaved into the fabric of the world. To fear this would be a waste of worry and tears. Good. Then your mind is already attuned to my lesson. I will leap first. On my word, you must follow. Lean into your faith, into your strength, and take flight. You want me to jump from here? Yes. I would sooner grow wings and fly away. Thank you for the lesson, but... Uh... Wait! And watch! Hytham! Hytham! Pig-headed fool! Are you injured? You see! My faith grew stronger than my fear! And that loam cushioned your fall. Eivor! I have not seen... <laughs> yeah! A perfect fall! And how did it feel? You spoke true. It was madness and vigor. A purging of fear. A gift I give myself. I see that now. Thank you for showing me the way. Of course. And thank you, Eivor, for hearing me out. You called this leap of faith a sacred rite. Do all Hidden Ones practice this same ritual? As far as I know, it is a rite of initiation that dates back to just before the birth of the Christian Jesus. Are you hoping to initiate me? I might try if I believed you would join. But that is not my purpose in England. Basim and I are hunting larger prey. The Order of Ancients. Yes. You remember the medallion you took from Kyotve's body? That is their symbol. They are a plague, one we hope to purge from this world. Like us, they act in secret. 
But their aim is to rule the world, not free it from unnatural fetters. The desire to rule is not unique to this order. Sigurd and I want the same, a land to call our own, and the honor that comes with it. Do not compare yourself to such people. The Order has no honor, no principles, no humanity. Yet they sit on a great many of England's thrones. If you seek to pacify England for the safety of your clan... Then it may be in my interest to give you aid. I understand. You desire alliances. We seek to rid England of its deepening rot. Where these hopes meet, our cause does too. You may think this land ruled by harmless Jarls and bumbling Thanes, yet look more closely and you will find a deeper threat. The Order's invisible hand touches all. It shapes everything, instilling its poison into every level of society. From the lowliest fishmonger to the richest merchants, from wealthy Thanes to useless kings, the Order... Bassam has given me one task here. ...to locate and eliminate the Order of Ancients in England, in whatever dark corners they reside. If we work together towards this end, it will benefit us both. You will have greater influence over the kingdoms of England. And you will have more medallions to count. Exactly! You should begin in London. I have credible reports that the Order is working now to seize the city. I will speak with Ranbury about this. And while you are there, be on the lookout for our symbol. Centuries ago, the Hidden Ones had bureaus built around England. There were six, I believe. If you can find them, search them well for documents bearing the same symbol. It will greatly aid my studies. I will. Thank you, Hatham. For all of this. What do you see? spot. I've been saving these just for you. I would like to see what you have in stock. You know you have use for this. I think that would be a very good choice. This looks practically made for you. Always a pleasure doing business, Eivor.
Go on. Give it a try. An excellent purchase. Perfection. And I mean that. Nothing else? I have to go. See you soon. Always a pleasure, Eivor. Cast about this land, my friend. Nothing. I'm off. Be well, friend. It is not that complicated. You do not appreciate the subtleties of a cutting flight. That is why you misunder... That's a damn fine stable we have now. Lord, look at it. What have you got for me today?
Nothing more today. I must take my leave. So long. Bye, Eivor. You do not appreciate the subtleties of a cutting flight. That is why you misunderstand. What is happening here? Holger wishes to prove that flighting is a lesser art. I am correcting him. It is unrefined, unpalatable, unpleasant. I could beat you without a lick of practice. That is not so, you thick-headed... <laughs> Eivor, care to judge a flighting? I would happily judge, brothers. Show me what you have. I will begin. <clears throat> There's a skin-deep resemblance twixt Holger and me. For inside, he's just hot air and bad poetry. Well, in all but our talent, we're certainly twins. It should be no surprise to see which of us wins. Not bad. Now hear this. Uh -uh. You see, flighting is simple. So hearken to me. Look, anyone can do it. It's so easy. But the true challenge in life is to do something more. Like writing sagas, painting pictures, and... Uh, and, um... Lore. Yes, lore. There. What do you think, Eivor? Alvis is the clear winner, Holger. I should have expected no less from you, Eivor. You have no ear for these things. A pity. Thank you, Eivor, for acknowledging the natural order. Nice to see you. Word of our growing settlement has reached outside ears. So have a look around. You may see a few new faces. We are allied with the Danes of Granderbridgeshire. Their Jarlskona, Soma, has pledged an oath. Well done, Eivor. These early victories will pay off well. They will. In more than one way, one of Soma's finest fighters, Birna, has pledged her blade to us. She is a powerful fighter and a charming spirit. I think she'll fit in nicely. Glad to have her. Good work. Eivor, a word of note. Someone has set up shop outside. A trader, I believe. When you can, ask him his business here. He seems to represent a larger guild. The child's eyes, or the eyeless children? Eyeless children? No, that cannot be right. Ask him yourself. Good day. A new customer. Whether I am or not, I am the one you'll speak with. Randry tells me you are merchants. Ah, hello, hello! Are you the leader of this bustling encampment? We come on behalf of a thousand eyes, vendors of uncommon goods and exotic treasures from all corners of the world. If you need it, we have it. If we don't have it, you don't need it. Such is our pledge. I see. And is this child with you? Child? Child. 
My friend, you look upon the master of the thousand eyes, the head of our guild, a legend, a hero of the people, and the richest merchant west of the Indus, you look upon Redda! He means you? He does, Eivor Wolfkist. It is a pleasure to meet you at last. How have you come to know me? The Thousand Eyes have one thousand years as well, and word travels fast. And what is it I can do for you, or you for me? It's quite simple. For a fee, I can connect you to a shadow market that stretches from the dunes of Egypt to the moors of England. What sort of fee? It varies with the item, but there is a small hitch. Through this market, all prices are paid in opal. A striking color. Is it rare? Rarer than an honest man in England. You. Now look here. Browse what wares I have on offer. Nothing for now? No matter. My selection changes daily. You will soon find something you like. Now that you are friends with me, you are also a friend of the Thousand Eyes as well. And what does this mean? Observe my outfit, not the scarf I wear. As you travel, you will meet many of my associates clad in these same vestments. These are my people, my other eyes. Seek them out for trade or contracts. Oblige them. And you will earn a tidy sum. And I might even feel inclined to reward you myself. An interesting offer. Good to hear. Now, if you'll excuse us, my apprentice has a tent to secure. You're staying for a while, I suppose. Oh, yes, and you needn't even thank me. We would be honored to call this our home. Good day. Salutations! Have you got a contract for me? I have just received news of work that requires your special skill set. The target is a talent in the business of murder. I suspect you are even counting on you, Eivor. My reputation is in your hands. So be extra good. I'm off. Be well, friend. You go on. I'll still be here.
sacrifice! Oh, then! I'll send you to hell! favor you, my friend. A good haul. Let's go.
May I see your stores? Anything you find, bring it to me. It will see many battles. Is that everything? I have to go. See you soon. I hope to see you soon. like to see what you have in stock. I do good work, I must say. I must be on my way now. Goodbye. Fight well. Good to see you. I want to see the Alliance map. Tell me more about Letter Chestershire. I should like to join Sigurd soon. He traveled to a town called Repton to meet Uba and Eva Ragnarsson. As I hear it, they are on the verge of exiling the current King of Mercia, with the hope of installing a king of their own. A bold endeavor. I should be there to help, however I can. I think you should. I won't keep them waiting. Good. I will send word to Sigurd and the Ragnarsons, pledging your assistance. If I were you, I would go by ship. Repton is quite a distance north on the River Trent.
can't raise the sail here. Sing us a song. This wind would fill the sail. Let the sail Sing. out! Sing. Let's hear a story. Look, one of the rich temples. There was a woman called Nal, who came by ship to Fornberg and heralded, demanding to meet King Sigvaldi, Styrbjorn's father. Nal was from Gautland. She was tall and rugged and strong, and everyone who walked near her said she smelled of men's blood. When a message was sent to our king, Nal was made to wait a full day. Yet she did not complain. She watched the waves and sang songs. Night came and went, and still Nal sat by the shore of the fjord singing her songs. She skipped rocks with children and smiled. As the afternoon of the second day approached, King Sigvaldi's messenger reappeared. They spoke quietly together. At last, the messenger stood back and waved to some men nearby. Three men bearing three chests of silver approached quickly. They set the chests of silver in Nal's ship and stood back. Then Nal stepped forward, swinging a large, bloodied sack before... sack and emptied it on the shore. Seven pairs of hands tumbled to the ground. Now then mounted a ship and sailed away. Raise the ground! Sail out!
Go, Zulin. Raptor. Sickert should be here with Arachnesons. Aid me, be my eyes. Who stands before Ivar Ragnarsson? Are you Sigurd Drenger? Igor! Eivor! If you keep that up, we'll stay in the floors. The place could use some color. <laughs> Who are they? All spies. Dressed to look the part of a peasant. Got feisty. Pitchfork. From this rabid little one. Was a time when you met and slew your enemy on the field before they could dream of things like sending spies! <laughs> now we shake hands and make deals. Not my thing. Weeping and reeking of piss. <laughs> hey! Good boy. You're free, Saxon piggy, to run amok through the Mercian fields. <laughs> I would have let him down easy. Hmm. Follow me. I'll give you the tour. What do you call this place? I call it the shithole. To the Mercians, it is Repton. Their most revered kings are buried below the church. Imagine their weeping when we drove them out. You planted your knife deep into the heart of this kingdom. That is right. We've got a number of Saxon nobles lined up with their lips puckered, ready to kiss our asses. The only holdout is King Burgred and his war thane, Leofrid. But my brother is brewing a plan to deal with them. I take it that's where we'll find my brother. Right. Talkers they are, Uba and Sigurd. Might want to dig the wax from your ears. Don't play me for a fool, Abba. I know Burgred sent a very... I'm not going anywhere, Bakrat. You have the king on his heels because of me. Because of my men. For which you were paid. 
But that price does not change because you have caught a whiff of our Hexilver Horde. You forget I am a sellsword. I ask what I please, and I take what I'm owed. If I wanted to hear you talk shit, I'd gouge out your tongue and shove it up your ass. Now fuck off. Haggling over silver is a bad look for the son of Ragnar Lothbrok. But worry not, Uba. I have the warriors you need. If this is one of them, my worries have vanished. Eivor, wolf kissed. You have come at just the right time. Uba and Ivar here are hunting a king. And when we caught him, we mean to crown another. Our dear Thane Shell Wolf here. It's not a role I begged for, but it's what Mercia needs just now. A man to fairly rule both Saxons and Danes. It sounds like you'll be a king in name only. A puppet. I am doing my part. I hope you have come to do yours. We're going to need all the help we can get for what comes next. The king has refused our offers of peace. Jail Wolf means to change that. There'll be a new king for a new England. For now, Burgred is holed up in his fortress at Tamworth, making a final stand. Another shithole. Only further south. We've held a siege there for weeks to no effect. So, no more knocking. Now we batter the gate to splinters. If we take Tamworth, remove Burgred and crown Shalewolf, come morning this Shire is ours. And Mercia soon after. Yes. Remove. I cannot stress that enough. Bugred is not to be harmed. My legitimacy as king hangs on this one simple fact. Uh, you rob all the joy from war, Saxon. Not every victory needs to be marked by the slaughter of a king. Ah, but it is much better. His request is fair, Ivar, and we will honor it. Cheerwolf betrayed his present king. Maybe tomorrow he betrays us too. Why trust him? How can I answer that with any hope that you'd believe me? I only want what is best for the people of Mercia. And I want what's best for my son. In Burgred's Mercia, where Danes and Saxons murder one another daily, it's not possible. This is a good plan, brother. I'm ready for the coming fight. Agreed. Yet remember this. Whatever you stand to gain here, so do we. An alliance between my clan and Mercia's crown. See this man installed on his throne and you will have it. I swear. The bold sons of Ragnar bellow to sound the spear din and the thunder of shields. So let fall the arrow storm. The battle begins. Ah! You never said this one was a poet. I need to piss. We have a forward camp just north of Tamworth. Will you go with us? Lead the way. Take in the sights of Repton if you like. We will be at the docks when you are ready to go. I'm glad you and your brother have come. If only to bring some measure of calm. Ease yourself, Cheerwolf. We all stand to benefit, and you'll be remembered for this for years to come. For all the wrong reasons, I fear. A lively town. Quite a lot to see here. Some of us are staying behind, as I hear it. Half the army's already in Tamworth, 
And we've now got help from the south. It's our lot. <laughs> Hello there. Leaving already? Shame. I'm off. Be well, friend. Welcome! You like that? It could be yours. You wouldn't regret getting this. This would look very fetching. Yes, this will look very good. Until next we meet. I will see you later, friend. Sail southeast. Bring the men to the gates of Tamworth. We'll flood the fields. And Burgred shall weep at the sight of what the future holds for this kingdom. Eivor, is your axe sharpened? I'm ready for the spear din. And the thunder of shields. Yes. It's good to have you with us. To fight beside such legends is an honor. I've only heard tales of your conquests. Now I get to live them. We'll weave our sagas together. Thread. Upon thread. Come on, boy. We'll forge a man from your softness. Hammered on the anvil of War. One does war. not need to fight to be Move. a... Move! Move! Calm, Ivar. The fight's not here. Aye. The fight is nowhere to be found in this boy. A boy who happens to be Chilwolf's son. Why is he not in his quarters? Our future king wants a battle-hardened heir. Time he proves his worth, don't you think? Not yet crowned king and already grooming his successor. That shows some boldness. Right. And bold kings need bolder sons. Ivar! He comes with us. And should anything happen to this little sprout, I will bear the punishment our future king inflicts. He'll want to remove your head. Ha <laughs> ha, you hear that, boy? You die, and I'll have to kill your father, too. Mount up, Eivor. It's a long ride to Tamworth. You'll have to endure, my brother. He always finds new ways to humor himself. I'll keep that in mind. And both eyes open. You smell that, Chailbert? The stink of jealousy. Of our budding friendship, I think.
What is Jailwolf's son doing in Repton at all? It's Jailwolf's way of proving his loyalty. And there's no safer place for a traitor and his son than the middle of a pack of days. from who? You and Ivar seem to have brought this Shire to hell. Fears are with us, the common folk. But Burgred still has his soldiers all over Mercia. They're devoted to him, and they'll die defending him. Your voice, Eivor. You sound different than the brothers. Good ear, Lord. Most in England cannot tell the difference. Not all Danes are Danes. From where do you come, if I may ask? North of the Danelands. A place called Fonberg, in Norway. I didn't know there was land north of there. What are the people like? You ever see a herd of sheep follow each other off the edge of a cliff? They're like that. The ones who remained, anyway. Couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> Was this a mass exodus from Norway, then? It was. Norway is now the province of a young king, Harald by name. A boy wise beyond his years. Are you not angry that he has displaced you and so many others? I was, for a time. But our weeks at sea have softened my brow fire. If I am honest, I realize I quite admire King Harald. By words and by weapons, both. He has pacified the country I call home. For the first time in any man's memory, or any skull's song, Norway has one king. Just one. And that is quite a feat. That is impressive, truly. England is half the size of Norway, and yet we have four kings for our four kingdoms. You see? How could I not be impressed? No, Harald is a good man with grand ideas. I can see that now. I am only six years his junior, and have yet to see my first battle. I cannot imagine the skill and cunning he has. Your first battle is coming, young Jailbert. From this day on, you may see rapid progress. I'm not sure I want so swift a rise. In truth, Jailbert, it is my father who bears the heaviest weight of my anger, not King Harold. My father gifted my birthright to Harold without my consent or knowledge. As easily as if he might hand over a barrel of mead. It was not merely a deception, it was a betrayal of trust. The prick of which still stings me. Be it a blessing or a curse, family is always first. A good line, boy. Were you not an Adeling, I would hire you as my scald. Scald? It sounds something like Scott, our court poets. Is that what you mean? Right again. Fascinating. The harmony between our words and yours is quite something. As if we were distant cousins, separated by an ocean of time as well as space. <laughs> I like the thought of that. I do.
Look at these pagan rats. Ravenous, unseemly beasts teeming over holy ground. Have a care, Lord. These pagan rats outnumber us. I can see that, fool. What do we do about them? I advise we strongly consider their demands, Lord. We won't survive a fight. Is that you, Leofrith? How quickly you recover! I'm beginning to wonder if it is a man or a god beneath all that armor. A man of God stands before you, Eva. Proud and resolute. That's Burgred's war thing. Killed a dozen of our men in an ambush along the River Trent. It was Ivar's axe that stopped him. That is a poor description of a perfect 30-yard toss. Enough jawing, heathens! Speak your peace! We've come for your crown, Lord. With or without your head attached. Ha, I admire your ambition, pagan. But what you ask is impossible. No Dane ever has, or ever will, occupy Mercia's sacred throne. The Rachnasans are the least of your worries, Burgred. The Raven Clan now sits upon your southern border. Oh, I've heard tales of the Raven Clan. I see their leader Sigurd among you. Hey! <laughs> and you are Eivor, the one who helped the Danes in Grantabridgeshire, destroyed poor Wigmund. Then you see why you should choose your next words very carefully. For here stand four of us who wield such power. My king, may I suggest a more measured approach to this? I grow weary of this palaver. You have trampled our lands, toppled our monuments. We've given you silver, fed your people. And yet in spite of all this, your encroachment on my kingdom continues. No more! We will die defending what is ours, whatsoever the cost. If you want my crown, Uber Ragnarsson, you must pry it from the hands of my bloodless corpse. Man the walls! Back to the camp. Round up the men. We're taking Tamworth tonight! Oh. Eivor. Tell the captain we're ready to march. Ivar and I will round up the men. You know your way around a batsman, Ram. I've seen them in action. I want you at the helm of ours. Strong and agile. I'll be there. As will I. At least I have a... Care to test your skill at all, Og? Who are you? I'm with the Ragnarsons. It's time to roll out the battering ram. Birgrid wanted a fight. Now we'll give him one. Are you ready to march now? Let's go. It's time to capture a kingdom. What are we going to do about him? Jailbird. Something wrong? I know these men, Eivor. I've supped with them. Not two weeks ago, Leofrith showed me how to wield a greatsword. He's a friend. Friendships end, often at the point of a spear. It cannot be that cold. Least of all with Leofrith. He is only following orders. When the march begins, find an empty tent and stay there. Do not think me a coward. I am not afraid of war. I do not want to kill my friends. There's no other way. Fight or hide. It's up to you.
Destroy the gate! Slaughter the soldiers! Leave the king to me! Too easy! Forward! Push forward! I'll kill you! Together! Uh, uh, spill some ink! Uh. Marksman and elites! 
Well, they'll thin us out one by one. <laughs> Saxon Lord feeds this land, and it is we Lord who march all over it. Fill your brains, Morgan. I'll find you, you little man. Do you hear me? Watch for the It's over, Burgred. Lay down your weapons and surrender. Take three men and search the rear. Look around. See what you can find. 
I'll send for Cheowulf. Tell him we found a throne. Ah, that was a good scuffle, hmm? But I... Hmm. A chronicle of payments made. Like a ledger. There's a symbol here. A clan emblem, maybe. The brothers should see this. Ivar, I found a letter. There's a symbol here. Your men have any luck? Nothing. You? This. Do you know that symbol? Tona Sigil. It seems she's been dealing with Burgred as well. The wretch. She was the mercenary barking at you in Repton, yes? She's playing both sides of this war. She could have told him anything. Sold him secrets about me, about Repton. Our plans. Why bother with all this pageantry? Fashion a new crown and stick it on your melon. There you have it. You're the new king. That is not how it works. Not in Mercia. You were one of Burgred's thanes. He must have some sense of where he'd be. Burgred had his secret haunts, but he never told me of them. Kept me quite in the dark. For good reason, I suppose. Tana is our only lead. We talk to her. Find out what she knows. I would sooner launch my face into my axe than face her. That might improve her impression of you. We have the same father, Eivor. But his mother was a sow. Meet us at Tona's camp when you're finished here. And bring your patience. And your axe! Eivor, a word, if you would. Go, I'll catch up. I will join the brothers, Eivor. Meet us at Tona's. My son told me what happened earlier, with Ivar pressuring him to fight. He said you intervened. You would be mourning your son if I hadn't. <laughs> He's not a fighter. No, but he should be. By trial or by training. He'll come around in time. But keep him from Ivar if you can. He's the furthest thing from a mentor. Settled. 
Elli tekur segjum frá sín og visku. Er óvinstar. Því þess steila að þeir korni. En ekki bjarg. This is not going to end Just well. keep your wits about you. Sigurd, is there a problem? We'll go see Tomna. Just the two of us. Ivar and Uba will wait here. Better if Tomna thinks we've come alone. The truth is, I don't think any of us can stop Eva from cleaving her head open. It's all he was spewing the whole way over here. Right. Shall we? We'll return shortly. A small fortune for whoever sent Tona to hell. I'll hold you to that. From what I overheard in Repton, the brothers had an arrangement with Tona. What happened? She's a mercenary. Uba used her for man and information. But that relationship soured now that Burgret is all but defeated. From what I heard, Tona has hunger for two things. Soft silver, and a stern hump. Neither of which earns you true loyalty. If she can't be trusted, what use is she? That is for us to find out. We may be able to satisfy her. And if we can't? Eva did tell you to bring your axe. And here they are, as expected. If she takes a liking to you, keep talking. She's more your type, I think. No, no. This is your challenge. Come now. Don't drag your feet. 
Sigurd, what brings you strolling into my camp this brisk day? I suspect you already know. Yes. <laughs> the embers on the air betray you. And yet, if you are here talking to me, King Burgered remains at large. And who are you, lovely dove? Want to perch your ass on my lap? Not interested. And why not? I've been told I have a rather expert tongue. Only good for yawping, I see. <laughs> Enough blabbering. You know why we're here. Where is King Burgret? That is what you want. And what makes you think I have the slightest idea? We found letters, records of trade. The two of you have a history. What can I say? The king pays well for my services. If only I could say the same for those two Ragnarsson clots. You're dealing with me now, and I want to know what you know. Name your price. Very well. I could use another cow. And you can cover the cost. When Cheolwulf is on the throne, do you think he'll be pleased to hear you stood in his way? That you doubted him at all? Settle for half that amount. And maybe Cheolwulf's first command won't be for your head on a platter. You've got stones. Out with it. Burgred paid me to steer the Ragnarsons clear of two areas. Ledechestre and Templebrochfort. It was a hefty amount. If I were you, that's where I'd look. And that is all I know. Not more, not less. We are done here. Ledechestre and Templebroth Fort. Do you know these places? I don't, but the brothers will. I'll bring this news to them. Don't stay around here too long. We've got a king to catch.
Sigurds told us the news. Well done. Letterchester and Templebroth fought. What do you know about them? Hmm. Letterchester is a large village. And Templebroch, it's an old military fort. Not much else. Burkred could be at either one. We should check both. As soon as possible. And what do we do with Tona? I would bet the sweat off my sack she's writing to Burkred now, offering silver for a warning about us. Let me worry about that. We should get moving, Drinkit. I can take the fortress of Templebroch. I will join you, Sigurd. That leaves me Ledichester, then. All by my fucking lonesome. Bring a friend, brother. Maybe Eivor dares to be called that. Go on ahead. I'll catch up with all of you soon.
A fellow adventurer need to know the lie of the land? Where is the matter of my fee? Yes, all right. Look here. The spot I'll mark on your map. A place I know. If they see me, this will get messy. Be my eyes, Sunan. Good timing. We would have stormed the place without you. What have you seen? Soldiers are plenty. Wagons going in and out. That weasel Borgred is here. I'm sure of it. The bathhouse there and that church. See, I sent a scout to check them both. Should be back at any moment now. Did you see Uba and Sigurd and no. Templebrach? And if Burkwood is hiding here, I won't have to. There is a lot we would not have to do if we stuck to killing kings. Thanks to my brother, now we are into making them. No small tension between you two. Thought you'd be more like-minded. You and Sigurd, you always see eye to eye? More often than not. You are still young. You live to my age and you will see. The closer you get, the greater the stink that rises. Time's up for your scout, I'd say. He's either dead or run off. Give him a chance. Can't risk them seeing us and Burkert slipping away again. You stay here and wait for your scout. I'm going in. Aid me. Be my eyes. Bathhouse. Need to find a way inside. This lit somewhere is sea but broad.
I should be cautious. Around here. This is bollocks. We should be out there fighting to take Tamworth back from the Danes. We're to secure our food stores first. Leofrith's orders. Leofrith's orders? Bah! The king's grown tired of him, you know. That's what all the men are saying. Tired? How do you mean? Are you blind? He questions Burgrid's orders every chance he gets. That's done ever since the Danes showed up. Hellbat? Have you lost your mind? I feared you were one of them. Keep quiet. What are you doing here? I'm... I was looking for Burgred. You are Ibar's scout. I hoped I might find Burgred myself and talk him into surrendering. But he's not in Leatherchester. How can you be sure? Leofrith passed this way with some men. I eavesdropped. It seems they're only stockpiling food here. But he did say something of interest. Gave orders to send more men to Burgred's wife, the Lady Arvilsmith. She's in Templebro. She would know where Burgred's hiding. Do you hear that? The sounds of battle, Ivar. Let's let's get you out of here now. Where are you going? I know my way around. We'll go through the market. This way. Are you hurt? Speak up. I... I don't think so. My God. I didn't want it to come to this. They would have killed you, Chilbert. You had no choice. Now don't move. I'll be back. Is your king, Saxon? Where is he? Lord our Father, grant me salvation. When does their god find the time to answer so much mumbling and whimpering? You are reckless, Ivar. Jailbird could have been killed. Who am I to stand in the light of a boy searching for his balls? Don't excuse yourself. You enjoy this too much. Stop. It wasn't Eva who sent me. I sent myself. Have caution, boy. Until your father is crowned, you're Mercia's enemy, not its champion. You understand? 
I understand. Good. Now return to Repton and remain there until we call. Will you not stay, Wolfkist? There is no king, but we have corpses to loot. Burkrit's Lady Athelswith is in Templebroth. I'm going to find out what she knows. Take everything! attention here. The other side must be barred. is for in show, Jan. Oh, warm draft coming from that grate. Feels nice. Smell nice? Because I just got done pissing in it. <laughs> well, you're an arsehole, you know that? Oh.
Say that again? You heard me. I need eggs. Viper eggs. Crusty little shits won't go away. This is my land. I was here first. So, as I said, bring me viper eggs, and I'll make sure they leave and never come back. Provoking snakes is not how I plan to spend my day. But that could change. A reward? Yes, I understand your meaning. Bring me the eggs and it will be done. Yes! Oh, more! More viper eggs! Oh, that's much better! Getting closer now. I can feel it! More eggs! I knew I would regret this. <coughs> <laughs> that nearly turned my insides out. Oh, I wish I could see the stir I've caused above. Uh, my reward, before I choke to death. Uh. As we agreed. Well, have you nothing to say after such a forceful breaking of wind? <coughs> it blew me away. Uh. Off we go! Sing! 
My ravens. Hush now. Get back to the ship. to row our way out. Run up the sail! sail. Yeah. Oh, God. 
Come here!
Help me with this. Let the sail out! Yeah. Monastery there, Eivor! We cannot raise the sail here. Not right now. Bring the mast down! down. Raise the mast! Yeah. Can't raise the sail here. Sail! Yeah. Catch the wind! Hearken well in Hall of Kings. On ocean steed my words gain wings. Oh, they bring the sail in! We will pick up. <laughs> better than the tight-lipped man here. He'll never say anything again. We've told you everything. Won't you let us go? That depends on what happens here. Aver, there you are. What's with the prisoners? Man from the fortress, out on patrol. We squeeze them. Berger's not here. It's his queen they're guarding. Others with... They must have separated off to Tomworth. I heard as much from Chelbert and Leather Chester. Chelbert? What was he doing there? Ivar. Too long a tale for now, but he's fine. I sent him to Repton. What's the plan here? It won't be long before someone comes looking for these men. We need to get inside and find Adel's will. Capture a queen to find a king. It might work. Only one way to find out. See if you can get anything more out of them. Me and Aber will take care of fetching Adel's with. Oh, then guide you.
The Saxons won't welcome us through the front door. We could find a quiet way in, or we can take your longship. I'm beside you either way. Ah, oh, Eivor. I have dreamt of this day. Of scouring the Shire in search of a king. Of going a viking good. With you. With our brothers and sisters. Conquering new lands. Forming lasting friendships. And if it takes chasing some weasel across a new land, so be it. I am right where I wish to be. As am I, brother. There! A military encampment! Out of options, dog. <laughs>
it. Press hard. With me, brother. <laughs> might be here.
keep our wits about us. You three, scurry. Lady Athelswith, I see Burgret has done his best to hide you away. But what is lost must always be found. Let my handmaidens walk free of this place. They have nothing to do with our quarrel. You hear that, Eivor? Noble. Selfless. This is the sword you must strike a bargain with. A woman of quality. We seek only your king, lady. Tell us where Burgred hides, and we will leave without an ounce of blood spilled. Please, I... I don't... I don't know. Effective, Sigurd. She is only naive to her present danger, but she will soon understand. Wait. Those are the hands of one who washes linens. A servant. She is a decoy. Watch the handmaidens. I'll follow Athol's with. to die! Help! Help me! <laughs> You're like a lame mule! Your husband will send you all to hell! Stop what you are doing at once! Stay away from me! I'll keep the rat busy! Don't you dare put your hands on me!
from me. My husband will send you all to hell. Quite clever, your ladyship. You're certainly making us work for it. Keep your hands off me, pagan! Have you lost your sense of hospitality? I regret asking. Let me go! I demand it! After what you put me through, I would have to be mad. Do you understand what you're doing, pagan? I am the Lady of Mercia! You're wasting your time. I won't talk. Not to you, not to any of you barbarians. You may reconsider, if only for your people. For who knows how many more might die at the hands of us barbarians. You don't frighten me. Then you are a fool. Lady others with you have seen better days. God will sear your soul, heathen, if he can find it. Why the catch, Aver? She is as much a poet as you. Where's my Kathleen? What have you done with her? Your handmaiden, you mean? The brave one, dressed in royal finery? Season change with the others. I'll take them back to Tamworth. Get them talking. If she has so much as a scratch on her. I will inform Cheowulf. He might have some ideas on how to get through to her. I will meet you there. Sigurd, what about these prisoners? We've got what we need. Let them go.
Your turn. She won't talk to me. Aver will handle it. Go on. You have exhausted my friend Uba here, but I'm wide awake. Maybe tell me where Burkrit is hiding and let him rest happy. Never. Stone-faced and tight-lipped, all for a king who hides like a cowardly vole, too scared to protect his family and his people. Thirsty? <laughs> My husband does what he must for Mercia. How could he do otherwise, knowing that even his closest friends could betray him? Give that traitor Cheowulf my message. He may win this earthly battle, but the devil has won the war for his soul. I don't care how you feel about Cheowulf, but he will be king. It's only a matter of when. Borgred is king. Elected by the Witten and anointed by God. My lady, I know what the losing side looks like, and you're on it. We've taken Repton, Tamworth, now Tamblebroth, and Letterchester. With each victory, your hope for peace recedes. Yet Borgred has what you do not. The loyalty of his people. Good men. Faithful men. Who? The Thanes and Chills of Mercia? No, no. Only Leofrid remains loyal, and he too will fall. Yes, goodly Leofrith. He will die defending his king. And win or lose, he will send a hundred more of you to hell. Eivor? Your ladyship? Do not mind me. Only here to count my spoils. Oh, God! I would not stick around too long. The smell of pig shit after they pass this is something dreadful. My... my god! Get me out of here! Please! Talk now, and we'll draw you a nice warm bath. You... You are asking me to betray my husband. How can I do that? If you don't, you will betray countless others. In legend, you may be remembered as the king and queen who abandoned their kingdom in its darkest hour. But there will be peace. This is Jailwolf's promise, and it will be honored. You have my word. Does the caged bird sing? Burkrit is hiding in an old crypt to the south, where the Alney and Arrow rivers join. A crypt? Now tell me this is not a sign from the gods. It's a long way to carry a king. The three of you must clear a path back to Tamworth. Where can we meet? Bring him to the bridge at Venonus. It's a straight line through. We'll deal with any trouble there. The heads were a nice touch. I'm not one for spectacle, but it got her talking. Spectacle? That's just me. Pile the soldiers here. Let these people bear witness to the carnage that awaits their kingdom.
What do you see, Sunan? I must be careful now. Jammed. Need to get on the other side.
I should not be seen in this area. Must be blocked from the other side.
What? Dark spirits torment this land. Guard for a musty crypt. Cannot be the dead they're protecting. This place is heavily guarded. Got to be down here. Where are you hiding, Burkrit?
time has come for you. Together, lad. You're mine. Let's spill some innards. Must be getting close. No! No, 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 it can't be! Stay back! That's a bread knife, my lord. Do you mean to butter me? Stay back! Back, I say! I'll fight you! If you insist. You'll have to kill me! Luckily for you, it won't come to that. This kingdom is mine! Mine! The throne is mine! Time to go, my lord. We're late for the crowning ceremony.
Get me off this thing! You, you, you think you've won? You haven't. Lyafris, I, I sent him away with orders to destroy you. Quiet. The mess you're in, you don't know the half of it. You're a blight on this world. The whole lot of you, a rancid disease. You don't deserve Mercia! To the victor, the spoils, my lord. You must win Mercia to deserve her. Something is wrong. This Far is our mission! Curse it. We need to go! Fast! The Lord is my strength!
got the king! Don't let them get past us! Move! Move! Inside! Change has come, Burgred. All that remains is a coronation. A witten with the Lords of Mercia. Burgred, my love! My lady, are you injured? Did they hurt you? No, no. I'm fine. Move along, Lord. Your king awaits. Your death will come, Danes. Your end was writ the moment you came for me. I have made damn sure of that. The Zealots will know your name soon enough. No matter where you are or how far you travel, they will hunt you down. Enough of that, you squeaking sparrow. <laughs> Let my brother be the lunatic of Tamworth. Zealots? What does he mean? Ignore him. Desperate pleas and prophecies. Nothing more. Walk with me, Wolfkist. We have some time before the ceremony. Where to? Nowhere in particular. I only want to celebrate. Didn't think you were the type. You have drawn a dark conclusion about me, haven't you? It is all well and good. I've drawn some about you as well. Are you leading a lamb to slaughter? See what I mean. Dark. Too dark. You there! Get lost! Sit down. I know I have been a cock, but you are a good fighter. I respect that. Let it be said that Ivar the Boneless considers Eivor a friend. Who calls you Boneless? Some backcraft I killed in Hibernia. Used his guts to shine my spear. Called me Boneless because I move like a reed in the wind. Not because you're always too drunk to plow? Valhalla. That is where I am bound. I can smell the blood and taste the mead. I will sit beside the High One with my axe in hand. A fitting end for Arachnason. You would think, eh? Me, Hafton, we will be there. But Uba... No. I do not think we are chasing the same victory. Not anymore. What does Uba want? To grow old and fat on a farm somewhere with little Ubers to chase about. He wants an heir. It's a common dream. Not for a warrior. Not for Drengir like us. He was different before. But this place, England, it softened him. What was he like before? Like me. Ferocious. Wild. With respect, I don't think anyone is like you. If that is a compliment, I missed it. All I mean to say is, things were easier some time ago. 
If it bothers you so much, why not strike out on your own? Because he is my brother. I love him. And I will do what it takes to drag him back around to my way of thinking. We are warriors, all. And that is to the death. myself again. Oh, did I miss the crowning? How much did we drink? I don't remember this at all. Where is my son? We sent word to Repton, but we've had no word, Lord. I suggest we carry on. Sought me out, old friend. And here I am, standing before the throne from which I reigned not long ago. You stand before us to accept this Witten's unanimous decision that you are unfit to rule and are hereby deposed. We demand the abdication of your kingdom and your crown to Thane Chairwolf. Mercia has spoken, Lord. The crown. Is that you, old friend? Ah, yes, I see it now. <laughs> Forgive me. The robes of righteousness sit so loosely upon your shoulders. If the heavens mismark me as king, forgive its obscuring light. Amen. Now, 
Where is my crown? Forgive my nerves. Here I am, an upright man who never once learned how to bend the knee. And yet, I shall try. Ah, how simple it is. How easy to kneel without fear and feeling. He's mocking you, man. I'd kill the fucker. Worry not, Dane. I shall resign this crown and this pagan-infested kingdom and the favors of these two-faced men. But I will do so on my terms. My demands are simple. Firstly, you must... Uh, you fool. Look around you. You have no leverage here. Plead for your life. For it is the only thing these men will grant you. Yes. Yes. Forgive me, I, I... Do not harm me. I beg of you. Please. I'll go anywhere. Here. I, 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 I resign it. Here. Take this lord and his wife to Rome. He is hereby exiled. Never to return. The Witten recognizes King Chairwolf of Mercia, second of his name. A just king, a merciful king. God save the king! It better be worth all this trouble. Mercian soldiers marching on Repton! Leofrid. Loyal to the ugly and the bastard. Gather what men you have and split them between the north and south gates. That should divide his forces. Cheobert is there. Eivor, you must save my son. He will come through this, I promise. I will stay here with Cheowulf. Go. Sanderverse Efton, Yin und Etan! Any sign of Chilbert? No. Boy is likely cowering in a haystack somewhere. Keep an eye out. They have breached the walls. I must find Chilbert. Let's bleed you. Right. 
right? Thanks. Done for now. Have you seen jail belt? No, but we caught sight of Leo fleeing across the river. He was chasing someone. It has to be jail belt. He is the only prize worth taking in this massing. Not much longer, corpse! <laughs> Cast about this lap, my friend. Jailbound. He's in trouble. I won't. You can't win. Please. You do not want to do this. Leofred. Let him walk. You answer to me. I answer to my king. Lay it by, Leofred. There's nothing left to fight for. We've stormed Repton. Only a matter of time. I cannot do that. Then you will die. Someone will. You can't win this, Leofred. Even if you defeat me, Arachnus will have won the day. I have fought many a day in my time. I'm still standing. How does it feel? Bergrid was lucky. To stand in the way of you and Mercia is my duty. I will die before I yield. You are finished. Not yet. Find me, heathen!
go on then. End it. No appeal to your god or your king. I swore an oath to serve Borgrid to the death. I fought. I lost. We both know how this goes. An honorable thane fighting a dishonorable war. Burkrid abandoned him, betrayed his trust. If I were Leofrid, I would want to know. Why rob him of this last glory? A warrior ready to meet his god and bask in his praise. To live will only lead him to shame. It's not an oath he would keep if he knew the truth. Then choose. Truth or glory. Stand, Leovrid. Live to fight another day. What? Your loyalty to Burkrid is not a loyalty returned. He resigned the crown and fled to Rome. He's gone. You lie. Lie to a man seconds from death? What would I gain? He saved himself and left you to die. All this fighting, it's for nothing. For no one. To betray one so trusted. So close. It's a dishonor worth a thousand deaths. Eivor, you have shown me a great kindness. It, it is only fitting that I do the same. At Venonis, there is a statue with a scroll laid in a small bowl. You must burn it. A scroll? Your name is on this scroll. At Burgred's request, I put it there. When it is found, the zealots who read it will hunt you. Who are they? It doesn't matter now, you haven't much time. Burn the scroll, or they will never stop hunting you. Where will you go now? Rome. Come on, let's take you back. Careful, you're injured. I'm all right, really. A few nicks and cuts from the battle, that's all. These wounds will heal quickly. You're lucky. I threw myself at him, Eivor. But he only toyed with me. He knew I couldn't touch him. You should have stayed hidden. Jailbird... This wasn't your fight. It was. It was our fight. Yours, mine, my father's. I had to help. And you did. You showed courage today. Bravery. You are a boy no longer. Back there with Leofrith. I didn't think you'd spare him. There's no honor in killing a man misled. He believed his king would die fighting for Mercia. He knows the truth now. And with that truth, he forges a new path. You were right about him, Jailbert. And right to believe the line that divides us can be thinner than it seems. Bert. Look at you! Bloody and battle-worn. Could be chieftain of your own clan with courage like that. No less than the King of Mercia, brother. One of these days. And how is my father taking to his new role? See for yourself. 
You are an Otlinger now. Or Arthling, I think you'd say. Next in line for the throne. It's an honorable title. One that demands good judgment. Be careful who you trust. My son. Are you well? Yes, father. Well enough. He honored you today. Fought bravely against many stalwart foes. You have my thanks. All of you. And my blessing. We knew what this alliance might cost us. But it's over now, and everyone has gained something. Silver, honor, allies. Agreed. Today we turn a new page. All of England must know. The Kingdom of Mercia has a new king. The remaining kingdoms of England won't respect your path to power. Nor will many in my kingdom. Burgred's soldiers will stand tall in the face of this turmoil, all across Mercia, against us. That we shall remedy soon enough. I am riding for Oxenifordshire directly, to forge an alliance with some thanes there. Shall I go with you? Not till I know more. Linger here a while if you can. Strengthen our friendships. I will send for you soon enough. Sigurd, I would feel better if Cheolbert was away from here until Mercia is more stable. Would you welcome him among your clan? Hmm. Do you have a horse, young Adeling? I do. A young steed called Theobald. Good. I can ride with you as far as the river Nene. You may find your way from there. Thank you, Sigurd. This puts my mind at ease. Be ready for my call, Eivor. It will come. You and Sigurd make a good pair. The future of England will be pagan from top to bottom. Take this, Wolf Kist, as a sign of friendship. I should you call, the brothers Ragnarsson will come. You honor me, Uba. See that? Sly bastard trying to win your heart. Well. Two can play at that game. How kind of you, Ivar. My pleasure. Our friendship is the best thing to come from this mess. Maybe Chelbert too, the brave little twig. That is good to hear. Now then. Leofrid sent their hunters after me. Zealots. If I don't clear my name, I will be marked for death. I should head to Venonis.
survey the area, Sunan. Now it seems the wind calls me back to Ranji. Let's tell her the good news. Smoke and ashes now. I should get those salads off my back. They will attack on sight here. <laughs> Jammed. Need to get on the other side. not right. Must be blocked from the other side.
Sorry. May I see your stores? Ready for battle. I must be on my way now. Goodbye. Fight well, Eivor. like to reorganize the crew. Found who you needed? I must take my leave. So long. Sunin, guide me. Tell me about what you do here. If you need something tattooed, you come here and I do it. And you can bring me whatever designs you come upon too. But of course, no shop, no tattoos. Build something for us when you can, and then we'll get working. I have to go. See you soon. So long. like to see what you have in stock.
All right, if you're done. I must be on my way now. Goodbye. Oh, thank you, A4. This... this is the place we needed. See you later, A4. What do you see? This is perfect, Eivor. You really are a generous one. An arrival. I wonder if Volker is among them. Enough for today? I must take my leave. So long. Farewell, Avel. Eivor, what a pleasure to see you. Oh dear, it feels like it's been so long. 
Valka, my friend. You're most welcome here. Are you well? Better than well. I am present. And your mother? My mother has found her peace at last. She walks through a world seen only in dreams and will forevermore. That is all any of us can hope for. Indeed. Come. How was your passage? Exhilarating. The waves and the wind were with us from the start. We flew like seabirds. And how are you? In spite of your stoic look, there is a brightness in your eyes that warms me. It may be a kind of hope. A settlement is growing. The people are happy and I am looking forward to more. And your visions? They come and go. But leave all that aside. Let me help you with your things. This way. We found a fine spot for you at the foot of the hill. Hmm. Every hour we traveled, I tried to conjure in my mind some vision of this place. And how close were you? I saw the trees, and the water, and the rolling hill. You see so much green. It is a magnificent and calming color. A balm for sea salted eyes. Valka! God, Zeppo! What brings you? Hope there isn't a curse on the settlement or some such. Ha! <laughs> the only curse on this place is their great lout of a blacksmith. It is a rare feeling to travel across the sea and still find oneself at home. This place feels powerful, alive. Do you foresee great things for us? No need for foresight. I feel it in my heart. Is that Valka I see? What took you so long to follow? Wanted to ensure the place was up to snuff. We must talk again soon, Randvi, once I'm settled. And before my arms fall off, what is this I'm carrying? My heaviest reagents, of course. Lead, whalebone, flax of gold. Put this one to honest work. That is what I like to see. Now it seems the wind calls me back to Randvi. Let's tell her the good news. All these people you have brought here, this life you have built on these stranger shores, does it please you? It does. To know that I've built this place and kept these people safe is a gift. You speak first of yourself when I ask this question. Which says more than you intend, I think. Salve, Eivor. Ad Meliora. Good day. And who is that fellow? I have no idea. Well, the town must be bustling. You see there? Your home is just ahead. Tell me about your visions. They are as they have always been. Little has changed, save their clarity. With every return, the things I see feel less like dreams and more like memories. And does the All Father still appear before you? From time to time, yes. He speaks to me as well, but it feels mad to say such things aloud. I understand. You can put those just there, thank you. And here we are. Lovely. Just as you promised. As soon as I am set up here, we can return to the matter of your visions. Valka, please. You are touched, Eivor. A conduit for godly tidings. Please, let me help. I may know a way to clarify these visions. An elixir that may open the door of your mind into the realm of the gods. If you think it would help, I can finish your home myself. Only give me some time. I would be grateful. Thank you, Eivor. Of course. And... welcome home. <laughs> 